when she starts, but should be fun. All right, let's play some dwarves. You can say hi YouTube if you want, chat. And let's go. Let's go play some uh, of this new save. The 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 momentous universe is is the world save. So the fortress is called Heatstone. We're gonna do a little overview before we dive in. What's up, Smaxy? And also Raz. What's up, dude? So part of the re so exclamation point goal if you want to see the the goal for this fort and the last fort, um, long story short I just, I just got too tired of the long as hell loading times. This world is, seems to have a similar ish problem, but it doesn't seem to be as bad. So, I guess that's kind of a benefit. It's not as bad, but we we it's still kind of slow. So we have hard economy turned on, as well as um hard enemies. Um, we've been attacked a couple of times. Uh, we did get a very brief were creature uh, infestation, which seems to have been sorted. Um, the fortress itself is a, like I said, a volcano fort. We haven't dug down to the caverns yet or anything. Um, this is the upper layers, top of the volcano. It is a very, 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 very steep map. Um, this little creek here does like freeze every winter. Um, and this right here is a little reservoir that I was starting, but I think I got a little bit ambitious with how much flow it's gonna have. So I'm gonna go above this in a minute and we're going to channel out this, 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 and this to let it flow a little faster. And then I'm gonna go and we're gonna dig another one. Um, but uh, this, is kind of my temporary defense. So anything that comes in here is just gonna get lava built on it. And then we're building this. This is gonna be the actual fortress entrance. Or, well, maybe not entrances, but, but this is gonna be the actual fortress defense entrance. Um, so things are gonna come up here across that and then around this and then down into here. And then it's gonna go down a few more layers. Um, and this whole thing's gonna be floodable with lava because I'm, um, well, digging out some space for it. By hard economy, did you go into the settings and make it as difficult as possible? I just went with the regular. I just clicked hard. Um, I, I for the for the difficulty, it's economy is just set to hard, and then enemies is set to custom. Basically, like I haven't cranked it up, but I did nerf the cavern critters because I just do that. Because screw the cavern critters. <laughs> so that's where we're currently at. Um, and I have to name MMO Junkie because I forgot to disable dwarves. So MMO Junkie wanted a uh, male dwarf who's happy. So you get a woodcutter named Monom. Also, there's almost no trees on this map. So I'm just going to name this dwarf. It, there are no leader positions available. I literally have none. Everybody's already named. Except for the mayor, but... Well, I guess I could give you the mayor then, who just got elected, but I don't know how long they're going to be elected for. And that's also not a leader position, technically. It's an elected official. Although, are they are they male? Yeah, they are. Okay, I can give you the mayor. Who just got elected. There you go. You get the mayor. <clears throat> All bow to Junkie. Chat, you have to bow to Junkie. You hear that? Uh, junkie tends to assume that the worst of two outcomes will be the one that comes to pass. Tends to share his own experiences and thoughts with others. He thinks he is fairly important in the grand scheme of things. Well, that checks out. Uh, he occasionally overindulges, and he has a sense of duty, and he generally is quite confident in his abilities when undertaking specific ventures, and he tends to consider what others think of him, and he tends to form only tenuous emotional bonds with others and doesn't isn't particularly curious about the world. He doesn't focus on material goods, and he doesn't cling tightly to ideas and is open to changing his mind. He tends to assume... He tends to be passive in discussions, and he is quick to anger, and he tends to make a small mess with his own possessions. He is currently more rude, and he is currently more fearless, and he is currently more thoughtless, and he stiffens up when he's surprised and he needs alcohol to get through the working day. 
Dreams of mastering a skill and personally is affronted by the whole notion of maintaining decorum and find so-called dignified people disgusting. He thinks guile and cunning is indirect and somewhat worthless and respects perseverance. He need he likes conglomerate, trifle pewter, blue garnet, capuchin leather, gigantic tortoise shell, the color cream, bucklers, and amulets, and the words of the amethyst of deserts, and the sight of the gloss of smiling, and when possible prefers to consume cranberry wine and hates bats. He is very short and well-defined and muscular. With well-defined muscular. Wait, what? That, he's very short with well-defined mus muscular? That's oddly worded. Um, and his hair is somewhat greasy. His very long beard is neatly combed. His very long sideburns are braided. His long mustache is arranged in double braids. His very long hair is combed, and his head is somewhat narrow. His hair is copper with some gray, and his skin is pink. His eyes are heliotrope. Rip? What? Oh, because everybody lost tickets. I was like, did stream go down? Worried for a second there. All right, so I'm going to uh, quickly make an office for this bloke. I'm just going to paint this for half of it. So we're going to do office dining room combo. Combo packs. There you go. Mayor now has an office. It's a terrible office, but at least it's an office. Got grounded? What does that mean in this instance? Casualty. Um, in regards to just dwarves in general, uh, the dwarves named in the fort are Aegis, Amethystle, uh, a shady necromancer, baby blue ford, booze hammer, Darius Cardron, farmer femme, freehold Boreas, fight attack, Gimli, Glass Half Empty, Jerry Gord, MMO Junkie, uh, Run Raised Choke, Shark Jumping Walrus, Snail SD, and White Doggo. Now, um, for those of you who weren't here yesterday, uh, this is a new world. Um, we are at war with these goblins here, which is funny because we were peaceful with them up until very recently. Um, but uh, we these are Dark Cobalt Pits? Junkus! Took over some dark, some cobalt pits. Just sh shout outs to the site government of Junkus. <laughs> that, that's kind of great. Anyway, um, so while, while generating the world, we discovered the greatest fortress name ever, um, which is, uh, where is it? I can't, I need to spot it. Very small. Around here somewhere. Where are you? There it is. Uh, the Dark Goblin Fortress of Toe Thief. So that's kind of our final boss. We want to stop the Toe Thieves. And there's definitely a Junkus among us. Um, we, we are also uh, the Armored Boots of the Fortress of Heatstone of the Tufted Urns. Um, we also appear to be at war with uh, a, 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 a Dwarven Tower down here. Oh, that's fun. Um, there's, the, apparently they've taken over some helixes. Man, stuff's going down. Holy crap. And there's also, like, combat happening everywhere. So, it's a busy, uh, it's a busy map. <laughs> there's lots of fun stuff happening. So, looking forward to this. General Grub, good to see you. How you been? Fly miles because they were too cheap to build a proper lunch site. Oh, well, that's great. They vented uh, the exhaust of 33 engines straight into the flat ground instead of redirecting it sideways like a proper launch. Huh. I don't generally follow space stuff. It's uh, I, sp I follow video game news. It's much less stressful. But um, that seems kind of crappy. It's been a while. Well, yeah, it's been a bit. I hope you're doing all right. All right, um, so th th that, that, that's kind of the current fort. As far as bedrooms, I'm trying to do something fun again, which means it's, they're taking forever to build. We've kind of got this double-stacked setup. Um, farming is happening up here in this tiny space. <laughs> um, but it's, it's fine. we got plenty of plant. Not enough drink, but plenty of plant. We, we do have um, a tiny little... Uh, we Weaponsmith's Guild, which isn't valuable enough down here, as well as um, this little dining hall. I don't have a tavern yet, so there is that. Um, but uh, we're going to try and get this valuable enough. And uh, we do have a necromancer in the fort. This is uh, Serol the Dwarf Woodcutter Necromancer. 
Um, I don't know how he's going to resurrect the, the wood after he cuts it down, but we've made gold toys. We got um, a very large supply of gems over there. So. I love how you guys are just like pre-planning dwarves to give away to people. All right, so we've got this pedestal down here, a gold one. Pedestals also don't change the, their colors. I think, what was it, earring? There it is. Got two artifact earrings. Those can both go there. I don't think them hyping it has anything to do with it exploding, but. So the one of the first things we got to do up here is I got to go up to this spot and we're going to get rid of these connective bits. So the way I think I'm going to do this, I'm going to dig out this way, put a channel down there. Go up to there, and then we'll just channel up this. Yeah. Start off with that. That's going to be really annoying to dig alongside of, so I will go right here, one next to it. Channel down one there. Channel down one there. Channel down one there, and then we will figure out what we're doing with this top side. But this over here is the main project that we need to let them dig out. Why can't you redeem naming a dwarf? Because somebody else redeemed it before uh, the dwarf fortress section started, and so I haven't enabled it yet. I will enable it in about 45 minutes. ish and asking will delay the amount of time or probably delay me uh setting them up because i don't want too many people to be paying attention so i won't be able to forget about it new things explode yeah but explode sends you know fun things into our atmosphere that we have to inhale so not a huge fan of that personally yeah it's all good but that's why you can't redeem right now What's this big dugout for? Uh, lava. Lava is what this is for. We also need to dig a trench for the lava to come down through. So we're going to go up to... Well, we've kind of started it already, actually. Yeah, no, pe people are very much on top of the dwarves thing, and I kind of want it to be fair, but turns out it's, like, not possible to make it fair. So I do, I'm do. i doing my damnedest to make it as fair as possible, but only so much I can really do. Which is mostly natural. You know what's also natural? Forest fire smoke. You know what I also don't want to breathe? Forest fire smoke. I, I'm just saying I don't like it when things explode. <laughs> that, that's all it really is. It also goes for cars. Uh, you know. Bombs. Generally. Not a big fan of things blowing up. Some people get like weirdly excited when stuff explodes. It's like, oh boy. There's plenty of stuff that's natural that I don't want to smell. <laughs> Does, doesn't matter if it's natural. All fire is natural. It wouldn't be there if it didn't blow up.
Oh, I read it as natural. I don't know if you spelled natural. Did you write natural? No, you wrote neutral. I read it as natural. That's my bad. But yeah, still don't want to breathe it. I, I guess you guys like are very much still misunderstanding what I'm intending to say here, Microglossum. I don't care if it's neutral. I don't want to inhale it. <laughs> like that's that's like it doesn't matter. I don't care if it's climate neutral. Stinky is stinky, sure. Not the wording I would use, but sure. Oh, absolutely, it's perfectly fair to investigate. I don't know, I, I would like to live in a world where Elon Musk doesn't have control over SpaceX, period, but because frankly, he just makes that shit bad at this point. We invested into it enough. Let it go. Oh, or control over anything, really? Ah, oh, he can have control over his yacht. That's fine. Just, like, lock him in it and don't let him out. Probably would benefit the entire planet, really. All right, so we're going to be digging this down and making a massive reservoir of lava. You're a survivor of the Elon Musk circle jerk? I think just about anybody from Reddit kind of is. I don't know. I, I mean... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I enjoyed Elon Musk memes for a minute there. They were pretty entertaining, but I was mostly just there for the memes with popcorn. I don't know if I would necessarily self-describe as a circle jerk survivor, but... I've definitely had some people, like, especially in YouTube comments, be like, oh, you just don't like him because of his politics. It's like, no, actually, I don't like him because of his dad. <laughs> and I never liked his dad. But I was never one of those, the people, I was never one of the people who was under the impression that he founded Tesla because apparently I, I read more history than some people. But business ownership, that was the one that got me that made me feel weird about the whole thing initially was when people started saying that he found a Tesla. It's like, wait a second, no, he didn't. <laughs> it's like, I know that. I don't give a shit about cars and I know that. <laughs> Elon's dad is tired of severe Elon shit. Yeah, he just wants to keep fucking his step stepdaughter. Or whatever that actual relationship is. All right, we are going to... This VOD is not getting monetized. We are going to put uh, this marble down. This marble flooring for this so that there's something to look at. And I kind of want the top to be sealed up anyway, so. Was the only thing he truly invented? Uh, not really, no. I mean, it was so bad that all of his, all of the code was thrown out. So I don't, I wouldn't say he invented it. I mean, he owned the, the name, x.com, but that's it. No, the, I, I would say the only thing he truly invented was the illegal nightclub that he ran in, uh, university, which basically was just a frat house, but. Leave they. Why is it always right when I'm in the middle of clicking something that it decides to save? It's like, I'm building something. Game saves. Can't really invent something that already exists. I, I think the, the word that uh, we're looking for here is founded. The only thing he founded, right? It's like, I invented... I don't know. Streaming on Twitch isn't true. But... I founded this Twitch channel to stream on Twitch. The concept of streaming is not original, but I founded this Twitch channel. Time to freeze and save. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's like, come on. Just let, just let me finish the thing I was building. 
Also, um, Red Lanterns, thank you very much for the third month. Or for three months. Is, am I misreading that? Yeah, thank you very much for the three months in advance. Jeez. There we go. I, I can read. Game, you're, no, you're not exactly, Pilot. I, the problem is, is some of the, a lot of these billionaires actually can't donate their money fast enough because they're accruing wealth faster than they can donate it. And that's not actually an uncommon problem. And in, in the case of people like Warren Buffett, he liter literally can't. But I also wouldn't necessarily describe him as ethical. He's a fucking monopoly. Dude's an absolute monopoly. So if monopolies are ethical, then sure. Intelligent, I would say. Yeah, he was definitely a smart investor, but... At least he didn't get his money from diamond mines. Or emerald mines, or... Oil. He invested in, uh... Sugary beverages. Your bank won't let you buy bits? What? I know, um, I think it was Armor who used to have trouble with his, uh, his Visa debit card getting locked when he tried to buy bits. You know what I mean, Swirly. You know what I mean. You got the same issue? Weird. I wonder if it's just a Twitch-wide thing. You just spent four hours straight on it? Hell yeah. A force that is dark and vile has arrived. Are they... Okay, so they're parlaying in order to avert loss of life. I'm actually going to say yes. I don't normally do parlays. I'm going to say yes to the parlay. I'm going to see what item they want. Because I don't quite want to fight them, and the fort's not actually that stable right now. So I need this dwarf to go conduct the parlay. But first he's gonna go to have a meeting in his office, I think. Yeah, with this dwarf, I think, yep. I'm gonna go attend the parlay. Oh no, we, we will have our vengeance. But I know for a fact that the artifacts I have in the fort are not that valuable right now. And I need to just focus on building the fort currently. They auto lock, lock WoW subs by default. I mean, to be fair, that's probably for the best. Just load, uh, you just load Google, uh, Google Play gift cards. You can use the, I, that's a terrible, but that, that would be through mobile, wouldn't it? Because that, that's a terrible idea. You're pay, paying an extra chunk on top of it. So now the question is, which item do they want? Did they not show you what item they demand? They might be demanding the bed. Because <laughs> I have these items. I'm just going to uh, deconstruct the zircon bed and place a different bed in here. But yeah, do not buy anything on Twitch through Google Play because you're paying an extra 30% on top. Is my advice. Okay, so is it the last one? Just trying to figure out which 
item they're demanding. I'm like mostly certain they're supposed to tell you what item, right? Where'd this doofus mayor go? Harvest plants? No? Okay. Well. I mean, if they want the blowgun, they can have it. <laughs> I'm not concerned about the blowgun. But I thought that the mayor's supposed to bring it. Because they're all accessible. Let's see. Well, I've got somebody set to attend a meeting, so are they following the mayor? Yeah, it's it's glass half empty. Oh, do I need a messenger for that? Is it the messenger who does the parlay? Because I thought it was the mayor who finishes the parlay. What are you pissed about now? Uh, you've been pissed since you got named, pretty much. What are you pissed about? This, exactly the same things you've always been pissed about. And it's something to do with your child dying and uh, having to wait for them to decompose. Also, right now, everybody's just pissed about lack of alcohol because that seed showed up right when I was going to go queue stuff up. Or maybe not pissed, but... Google Parlay. <clears throat> Have you never seen Pirates of the Caribbean? You should know what a parlay is. Parlay basically is, um, we make demand, give us demand, or we kill you. That's all it is. Uh-oh. Did... We took too long, I guess. That's, that's fun. How big a siege is it? I'm kind of tempted to just go back to a save. But it's not that... Yeah, I'm just going to go back to a save. It means the same thing in everything, dude. Okay, so if you know what a parlay is, then how do you not know what a parlay means? <laughs> Didn't you watch Pirates of the Caribbean in school? It might be that they mistakenly think that something they want is there, but it isn't. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, man. Well, we have another chance now to make the parlay work. I'm just going to uh, deconstruct this. Because, like, there, there are claimed heirlooms in this fortress that aren't in this fortress. So it might have something to do with that, but we'll find out. If I can fix this. But no, parlay is just a parlay. That's it's, it's, it, it, what it is. You did not expect this, de this, this definition? What? A bet or gamble in the original amount of the winnings on a subsequent race or contest, etc. Yep. Yep, that's a parlay. No, that's parsley. Cat. I grow those out on my patio. Also, uh, let's let's do this. You, here, that, that, that. You know things, you swear. I disagree. <laughs> you clearly don't. Um, let's try this again. And if they don't, then we'll just attack them, but. So mayor's gonna go conduct a meeting.
No, it's basically just a match my bet. All right, also, you are correct. Parlay with an A instead of an E. P-A-R-L-E-Y, not P-A-R-L-A-Y. So maybe I don't even know what parlay means. <laughs> Gotta love the English language, hey? Let's see if this works this time. If it doesn't, then like I said, I'll just attack them. Ah, there we go. Weird. Why didn't that work the first time? Uh, the Goblin Lasher Jal meets with the mayor. MMO. Maybe it just bugged out. I don't know. Uh, meets with the, the mayor MMO junkie. Uh, the leap of sneaking is the property of our people. Pass the treasure onto our possession. And we shall depart in peace. We will uh, gladly do as you ask and strengthen our bonds of friendship. <laughs> um... Which one is that? Because I do have a bunch of items that, like, aren't here. The Leap of Sneaking. Okay, so they want one of the, um, one of the earrings. So they should come just take it. I'm just going to deconstruct this gold pedestal. It says it's still in it, even though it's not. Currently, nobody is putting the item away. Gave you the job, so theoretically you should go do it. Sorry about making you drink water here. It's 3.30 a.m. on Thursday. Oh, wow. Good night. We're going to go cut gems. Aren't you supposed to... Uh... Maybe the mayor does that. Is it the... Is it the... Okay. It turns out I don't actually know how this mechanic works. <laughs> I guess. It's just the reality. Your sub there you go, return treasure. That's the job. Then. So it is It is the mayor that does it. Okay. No, just the, the mayor had like half a dozen jobs they had to get done first that were more important. Like drinking, turns out. I mean, that that's very dwarfy. I, I won't blame the mayor for having to go drink alcohol. Go get yourself a drink. Now... Now that you're euphoric due to inebriation, get get off there and return the treasure, please. Uh, we're in a calm biome, so it's actually not possible for him to get attacked by agitated wildlife because there can't be agitated wildlife in this map. They probably have lots of patience. For some reason, I doubt that. I don't know where, where you got that line from, but for some reason I doubt that. If if you want your dwarves to practice combat, should you give them training weapons? No. Uh, so training weapons used to be a thing that you would need to do or they would hurt each other. That was basically patched out of the game, uh, I don't know, about as long as I've been playing. Um... No, and under no circumstances should you use training weapons for any reason. Now this dwarf's going to go to sleep. I swear to God, if they attack us because this dwarf just, like, is incapable of delivering a treasure, <laughs> uh, this mayor is getting unnamed and demayored. You have one job. It's give the goddamn earring to the stupid gobbins. Why do they exist then? Why does money exist in Dwarf Fort? Money has no use. Actually, technically, elves use them. Technically, elves use training weapons. <laughs> Hello, smell pajamas. Welcome back for a fourth month.
Apparently a baby llama is starving. Fortunately, I have a hard time caring. I don't know. I don't know about you, chat. All right, Mayor. Wake up. Danger rooms are pointless. They work, but they're pointless. And the main thing that they end up doing is uh, hurting your dwarves more than anything else. So danger rooms will train your doctors and um, mutilate your military. So I wouldn't recommend using them. Most of the, like, like this, it's funny, because like, I, I put out a video recently called Top 10, like, 10 Things You Should Know Before You Start Playing Dwarf Fortress. All of these strats and metas and bugs and things that people talk about assume they're patched unless told otherwise. Like, almost everything, like, danger rooms, pointless. Like, there, there is no logical reason to use danger rooms. Um, because they train faster by just training. Oh yeah, but that's not a danger room. That's that's a minecart shotgun, right? No, the the problem with training weapons is they um they just get attached to them. Although I I dwarf, you're literally not allowed to do that job. How are you harvesting? I, I, hold on a second. Got to go with ju just specific standing orders. I think it's under... Everybody harvests. Only farmers harvest. Stop it. <laughs> Swear to Christ. I can't even, like, cancel you out of it. Biff Pixel, thank you very much for the fourth month. This is the worst mayor I've ever had. I need you to go finish this fight. See this? Run, raise, choke. The militia captain has grown attached to a silver warhammer. This dwarf will now be upset if I don't allow them to use that silver warhammer. Um, and will have negative thoughts because of it. And that can happen with training weapons. That's why you shouldn't use training weapons. Come on, Mayor. Sup, man of knowledge. Is there ever a bad time to join a stream? Give the artifact away. <laughs> About to decapitate this mayor. I'm gonna make I'm gonna throw him into a goddamn volcano. We have one. I could easily do that. Seems like it. Scratch. Return the treasure. Make a, make a new tunnel outside? You make a new tunnel outside, not... I'd have to fill it in, then. <laughs> there we go. We did it. We did it. Finally. 10,000 years later. You go do work things, pilot. Have a good day at work. 10,000 years it took, but we have completed the stupid, stupid task. <laughs> Still worst mayor ever. I don't know worst mayor ever. Pretty crappy mayor. All right, so... I need to just focus on uh, playing game. So let's just make some bedrooms. But uh, yeah, pilot, you have a good night or a, a good day at work, I suppose. Not night, but a uh, solid day at work. Are you still working in the cubicle nightmare job or are you uh, 
just gonna go fly things. We'll see you later, Wings of Steel. And also, um, for, for the Bay 12 talk, the when, when Tarn's going to be on stream, I've been trying to make them earlier in the day so it's easier for EU folks, because the first few we did were at, like, 4 p.m. my time, which is, like, very late for Europe, so. Imagine the Goblins view. They just keep seeing the mayor coming over the hill. <laughs> He's just like, actually, I forgot something. Actually, I got to go to, I gotta, I'm thirsty. I'll be right back. Just give me 10 minutes. I'll be right there. Working on it. What are you doing? Yeah, from the goblin's point of view, that's actually way funnier. It truly is way funnier from the goblin's point of view. All right, so we are trying to get this done right here. Just getting more bedrooms. More and more and more bedrooms. Slowly. Problem is, is, I'm running out of mica. I'm going to have to use different floor colors. It's totally fine, but... It's also uh, one of the first forts in a while where I've actually done this. I made uh, two... like, quantum stockpiles right off the bat. One here, and then... apparently there's one here, but there's a wheelbarrow stuck in it. Remove that wheelbarrow. And then this stockpile has a shoe in it, so they're obviously not putting boulders in there because there's a shoe in that stockpile. Well, that's a shame. We gotta get rid of that shoe. You like marble or diorite? Yeah, I might just start doing marble as well. Because, like, the mica is a nice brown color, but we can swap over to, to marble. I got tons of marble, so 533 marble? Yep. We'll do the bottom one down here. Uh, booze hammer has been found dead, completely drained of blood. Okay, that's kind of ironic. <laughs> um, did you do it? Ah. You did do it. Horrified after seeing Booze Hammer die. So my necromancer here is um, is uh, a vampire. Yeah, the necro did have zero kill. So uh, I guess I now know permanently how vampires work in, in this version of the game. If they say zero kill, it's a vampire. Just no questions. Regardless of if they're a necromancer as well. I was kind of looking forward to having a necromancer in this fort. That's a shame. Well... Here's what we can do. Um, I can set them on fire. That's something I can do. So um, I'm going to take all of my miners off of mining. And I'm going to find this necromancer, and we're going to let him go do some digging for us. We have very convenient uh, lava sources around here, you know? And I need to uh, dig this out anyway. So might as well make them do something useful, you know? Might as well, I say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go down into fluids, floodgate, Place that obsidian floodgate right there. And a door right here. It's very funny that he ate Booze Hammer. Because Booze Hammer was the vampire <laughs> in the last fort for a very long time. The last good number of forts we've had, Booze Hammer was the <laughs> Booze Hammer was always the vampire, so that's just funny. That's just really funny. That booze hammer got got. Did they still reanimate stuff against you? I don't know. I've never had a necromancer go berserk.
Like, I've had them go melancholic, but I've never had one go berserk. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> I don't know about that. So wait, does that mean that you're, you're going to die because, like, it takes too long for us to get to you because it took you so long to do uh, basic, you know, mayoral duties of uh, finishing up the parlay? 100%. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, it, it is only it would it would be karma at that point. It would genuinely be karma at that point. What's up with all the coffins? All the coffins? You think that's a lot of coffins? One dwarf died. Um, got eaten by a vampire. And now I'm in the process of um, telling that vampire to dig into a volcano. Well. Shark jumping walrus, I just would like you to know that you are a genius. I don't know if you're watching the stream right now, but you are in fact a genius. You're a very smart, good dwarf. Also, hello Stone, aka Seashore as well. I don't think I actually said hello to you today. It's a good way to make sure mechanisms will be lava safe. Uh, I just only make them out of obsidian. You used to be able to pick them manually. I don't know if you can now. I know there, there was a, a minute there where you couldn't recently and that kind of annoyed me casual t what kind of dwarf would you like to be he's also thirsty new dwarf just dropped so did a dwarf just get dropped in chat or did an update just come out i hope you mean an update just came out but no it doesn't look to be the case sad blender update just dropped though Happiest beardless farmer. I wonder how many farmers I have. Um. Wrong button. I have a couple planters. Does planter count as farmer? Because you could be arrow. Planter counts? Okay. They can count, count to at least 10, because I think they still have all 10 of their fingers. If they lose some, then they'll only be able to count to like eight or nine. Um, She is swayed by emotional appeals and is rarely happy or enthusiastic. Okay, so wouldn't it be hysterical if this dwarf was just sleeping here and then like the vampire shows up and eats her? Um, she is conflicted by this and she values parties and merrymaking in the abstract. She likes to brawl and she can handle stress. She is quite comfortable with others that have a different appearance or culture. And she sometimes acts with little determination and confidence and doesn't focus on material goods and doesn't mind wearing something special now and again. She lives a fast-paced life, occasionally overindulges, and she doesn't often feel envious of others and she isn't given to flights of fancy she has a tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications and she often tells pointless stories when she's nervous and she taps her feet when there's a lull in conversation and uh she tends to stare unwaveringly when she's speaking to somebody who needs alcohol to get through the working day so you're a scary parent uh she dreams of creating a great work of art and personally finds romance distasteful and doesn't see cooperation as valuable she likes native silver, copper, and white chalice stony, Cody tooth, and giant tortoise bone, phantom spider silk, and battle axes, shields, and amulets, and dogs for their loyalty, and cassowaries for their, uh, whatever that is, casquisks? Um, I don't know how to say that. Uh, asparagus for their delicious shoots and the sight of the glimmer of glistening, and when possible prefers to consume platypus and turnip wine and absolutely hates bats. You know, I like to think that dwarves in Dwarfort who like phantom spider silk are like, the, the kids that are way too into uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, I like phantom spider silk. Uh, she is very fat, and her nose bridge is concave. Her hair, her, her somewhat tall ears have nearly fused lobes, and her head is narrow. Her dark peach skin is wrinkled. I love asparagus. Asparagus is so good. Uh, and, her, and her hair is neatly combed, and her hair is copper. Her eyes are bronze. 
for their loyalty. That's most of your friend group who likes Cave Spider Silk then. I, I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas is a fine movie, but I, I don't understand some people's obsession with it. But then again, I feel that way about most things, Disney. Okay, so now we're just waiting for this to finish getting connected. Here it comes. But yeah, I just, uh, be, because in this version of the game, the um, assigning specific mechanisms is a little weird, if you can, even. Um, I just only make them out of magma safe materials. I just pick a material and just go with that. You know, I've never seen Beetlejuice. Like, just in general. I I've never seen that movie. Uh, yeah, stairs going up and down, and then also... So it's it's like... I Here, I, I can show you the, the full setup in a second. But... Uh, okay, you come out, and... Vampy, dig through that. They're making Back to the Future 4? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I do not know how I feel about that. Looks good. Who did... How's casting for that going to work? Anyway. F's... What? No 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 you're supposed to die. Turn around. There you go. Perfect. Easy peasy. Um I guess I can set other uh miners to do mining stuff again. But uh goodbye. Vampy and your Whoa, okay, hold on a second. This is, I, I'm kind of sad we lost this now. Mouse monster hair ma amulet? Oh, I know, yeah, that's the next thing to do. But, uh, that's cool. Wonder where that amulet came from. Sounds demonic? Yeah. Something weird going on with that. <laughs> um, you shouldn't make an andesite table here. That's, uh, that's, that's bad. That's bad news, buns. You might want to turn around there, Aegis. Okay, there you go. All right, well, this will speed up the, the flow for this. Can also lock the door. Also, I wonder... I wonder if this is... Whoa, 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 whoa. to wait for a more fun moment to do this Fire. dude i know you didn't do it it's one of the people who's been doing that longer than you <laughs> jerry gord raz thank you very much for the hundred bucks means a lot man thank you round of beers for raz but um i think that this mouse monster hair is uh fireproof it hasn't melted yet everything else has even the pick I think that this most monster hair amulet is just going to be for here forever. Anyway, this, this is going to fill up down here finally. So that's kind of exciting. Um, we can now go work on other things. The necromancer has been missing for a week. What a shame. What a shame.
What? Is it not letting me memorialize it? Huh. I wonder if we have to wait for him to come back as a ghost with his true name. Also, Great Langers keep stealing my stuff. Yeah, it's not their real name. But we I guess we can't memorialize them if we don't know their real name, which is kind of funny. That seems like a, a bug. I think you should be able to memorialize dwarves even if you don't have their real name. But whatever. Um, let's dig this down another layer. Oops. Did I already do that? No, I did not. We're going to channel this down one more layer. Really cocked himself over. But I I mean, I'm sure he'll come back. If he comes back as a ghost, we'll, we'll, we'll get his, his true name in a gif. Okay, so I've got... Man, I've been having such a hard time getting decent dwarves for the military these days. Like, such a hard time. Irvad, and I think Bambul was the other one. You guys, we're going to put you on a training schedule, monthly orders. Cancel special orders. Let them go do other things. As for bedrooms, um, the bedroom setup is just like this. Stairs down, and then stairs down. So we got kind of center bedrooms on this layer, upper bedrooms, and lower bedrooms. We're also going to get these smoothing because I've been lazy and haven't done that. Um, but yeah, I like doing multi-layer bedrooms like this. They just seem cool to me. And then this one didn't get smooth, so there we go. Okay. Are we still brewing? Yes, we are still brewing. That's good. Game's gonna save now. Can you tell who's attached to their weapon after you've dismissed the announcement? Uh, the dwarves name it. They claim it like an artifact, so you can check from the artifacts menu. They basically claim it as theirs. Just like the same way a dwarf would claim an artifact as theirs. Also, I love the fact that Raz cheers a hundred dollars in bits, and the f the immediate thing to be said in chat is Jerry Go Gord says, I didn't do it! I plead innocence. <laughs> that's just that's just really funny to me. So, um, Booze Hammer, were, were you here for the bad news? You got eaten by a vampire. Which is hysterically ironic. To me, anyway. I think it's very ironic and very funny. Very amused by this. Tobzin used to be rich. Congratulations. You once were rich, now you no longer are. Good for you. You did it. I consider that a success. Thanks for spending your points. Excellent. That should have the take a break reward? No, it does absolutely nothing, and that's the point. Also, hey, I are stupid. What's up, dude? 
There we go. Now we've got things getting put there where it's supposed to be. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I just, I, I, that was some, that was something that I mentioned yesterday that we didn't discuss that I'm not going to do. So no, it's not gonna happen. I do not want to do that, so I will not do that. <laughs> that simple. Also, um, my manager died. Uh, was. Who's hammering my manager? Must have been. I didn't think he was. That's kind of wild. MMO Junkie, you're my manager for a bit. I can assign work orders. Apparently we have a ton of diorites, so... Rock cabinets and rock coffers, 200 of each. Diorite. Apparently, I have a thousand of it. No, just so that I could assign that, so then I can find someone better. Do you do do you want to mine into the side of a volcano too, Junkie? Because I, I wouldn't I wouldn't push your luck. Just saying. I wouldn't push your luck. I mean, who needs a bookkeeper? Bookkeeper is just a waste of job anyway. Um, I do need to make some more uh, office space around here, though. So we're, we're going to need a captain of the guard eventually. So we'll make an office to be the captain of the guard's office. And we're also going to make an office down here to be manager bookkeeper's office. But I need to get these redone. The other thing that we need to do while that's being worked on is... Uh, no, I don't actually need to do that right now. I can just let that sit. I could make a bunch more. Actually, you know what? I think I might just make a bunch more miners. I think we're just going to do that. And I'm going to jump over here. We're going to go bars. I got 76 iron. Okay, let's just let's just make a copper pick. Twenty five of them. It's good weapon smithing opportunity for training. Going to replace that pedestal. Is the game audio on? Uh, yeah, but the game's just been really quiet for the past few minutes. There is music playing right now. I can turn it up, but... Theoretically, you should be able to hear it. But I also have this problem where... Um, I have really good headphones. So I'll be listening to streams and everybody's music's super loud to me. And then people with not very good headphones are... Just like, man, your stream is super quiet. And then I listen to my own audio. I'm like, it sounds loud to me. So I actually have a pretty hard time figuring out what's good audio balance for my stream to the point where, like, I need to buy shitty headphones for my videos. So I, I, I can tell if I've uh, done a good job balancing my audio or not. Because I genuinely don't know half of the time. I mean, we definitely need to be a book cooker for it. That seems very profitable. I like the concept of books. Books are delicious. Dungeon Man's taught me this. So if we could cook books, that's even better. Oh, 
also, before somebody comments, I'm well aware of what cooking books means. What's up, certified dumb? Even your cheap uh, Sennheisers versus your desktops here because it sounds like two extra worlds of sound open up. Yeah, I, I haven't had speakers plugged into my computer in maybe 10 years. Uh, MMO Junkie meets with the Baron Consort Adam of Scorchropes and says, I am your liaison from the Mountain Homes. Let's discuss your situation. Being hit by ads. There's much to share. We've updated your civilization and world info. Clearly, there's like constant combat going on. This entire continent is like in mass warfare. They want legwear. It's like books titled Cooking with Children. I need a bigger oven for those books. <laughs> Not for the children? <laughs> um. Just gonna buy all of this stuff, pretty much. Even the cheese. Eh, maybe not the cheese. Trade. Perfect. Oh, yeah, no, that, that makes sense. I mean, like, obviously, like, if you've got things that are stopping you from using headphones, yeah, don't use headphones, but I would uh, be very sad without my headphones. All right, so let's get a record keeper assigned. Edzul's apparently a good record keeper, so we'll give it to Edzul. Edzul can also be the manager. If I can find you. What's your last name? Edzul, bookkeeper. Manager. Pretty far down. I'm just going to get this area here smoothed. We can get the bookkeeper set up here. Be good to go. Also got Cinnabar. That's a fun color. Lots of stuff you can do with Cinnabar. It's a very fun red. And this whole area back here is all obsidian too, so more obsidian. Some migrants have arrived. Well, that's unfortunate. I say it's unfortunate mostly because we have nowhere to put them. I don't have housing for them just yet. I really should just make a really big dormitory and just make it really nice. Might just do that. Make a really big, really nice dormitory. <laughs> this is going to be given to... My manager, Edsel. Some migrants have arrived. Oh, no. I hope they're okay. Some migrants have arrived. What's wrong with them? Some migrants have arrived. They should leave while they still can. <laughs> it's too late for you. You've arrived. You can't leave. Migrants, pretty much. I mean, like, they're fine. Like, we, we, we do need more migrants, but I, uh, I need migrants that, you know, want to be in the military and such. This is a happy dwarf. Look at this dwarf. Except for being a little bit glum about the arguments that she got into. You're a woodcrafter? Need to, ooh. You want to fight? Be extravagant, and you want to learn something. Does 
hitting things with hammer really hard count as learning here, Dorf? Isn't that most fortresses? Fortress California? We gave her a machine gun so she can join. Gonna go pick up equipment. Good luck there, dwarf. Stukos, the animal caretaker. Currently drinking wine. You know, it's it's kind of funny. Um, the what kind of like video game world would you want to live in? Dwarf Fortress certainly isn't one of them for me. I don't know if you guys ever think about those silly thought experiments, but I, for one, would never like to live in the world of Dwarf Fort. Seems like bad news. This up here, we're going to just put down some flooring. Marble flooring, specifically. I'm going to block this side off. This is still flowing. I think what I need to do is I need to jump over to this thing. Pull this lever. Just let this whole thing fill up. Also going to jump up to this, channel those up, channel all this down. Because this up here is going to take lava from up top here and drain it down and into the very, 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 very large reservoir that I'm digging out. It's going to be right here, which I need to continue working on. Oh, we're going to do that. Problem is, is this is also going to take a lot of lava to fill. And this down here can get all smooth, removed, because this is work from up here. All right, we're going to plop in flooring up here. Marble floors. As long as they're not marble hornets, we should be safe. Speaking of good internet, that was good. a good era of internet was Marble Hornets. Fond memories I have of that. Many nights of lost sleep. What's the plan for lava pits? Uh, pour it on the enemy's head. That's the that's that's the plan <laughs> for the lava pits. We are setting up defenses is what we are doing. And very much prioritizing setting up defenses over setting up stuff for the actual dwarves. So the dwarves are not the happiest currently. Could be doing a lot better, but So that's built. I'm going to go over to this side. I'm going to build a raising drawbridge. Eh, I would like to use obsidian. I thought that I was placing manually, but apparently I'm not. Obsidian blocks. 
Manual eruption? Mm, I don't know if I'd quite call it a manual eruption, but... I think this is going to be where it's going to go back into the fort. Yeah, that should be good. What's up, Fagoth? Hope things are all right. Hope your day's been well. As for this reservoir, I'm just waiting for the stuff to fill up. Just waiting for top half to fill up, too. Once top side's filled up up here, this should be good to fill this, because this is still dribbling down into this currently. I kind of screwed up this filling mech, but that's fine. You're doing okay? Good to hear. We're just playing around with lava and volcanoes. Mostly because it's been a while since I built a volcano fort. It's been a long time. I'm okay. Been better, been worse. I'm very excited for this weekend, the Hot Potato Charity Marathon. Excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be fun. Tarn's going to be on the stream at 1 p.m., which hopefully will be an okay-ish time, and I won't get too many complaints from people in Europe going, but, 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 but I want to watch, but it's late. <laughs> which is what I've run into at the last few that I've done. So hopefully this one, people from Europe can tune in, and then we'll be getting it up on YouTube the next day with a big shout-out to the hot potato because that's going to be happening around the same time it'll be starting up, so I can run my premiere of the interview, followed by, hey, uh, go watch Hot Potato. Go help us raise money for charity. Well, that should be fun. Looking forward to the next few days. It's going to be an interesting few days. I'm just having a hard time keeping my brain in gear as of late. It's, it's just that time of year. I'm, I'm very scatterbrained right now. I didn't sleep particularly well last night. And then I wake up and the first thing I see is uh, CMA blocking the Activision Blizzard bio, which is odd. Kind of surprised by that. A couple of uh, wagons came by and they got attacked and all of their stuff got dropped and the tiles were too close to the edge. When you use the build tool to basically build up close to the edge of the map, dwarves won't haul the stuff even though it's designated dump. Weird. It's been three years without wagons now. What should you do? I would be in the exact same boat as you. I don't know. Um, that's one of those weird issues that's just kind of been in the game for forever. It's happened to me before, and generally... I just ignore the items. Um, what you could try doing is try digging underneath them and caving it in. If they're too close to the edge of the map, you should be able to dig all the way up to the edge of the map, unless they're literally on the tile right next to the map, edge of the map, because then you can't build there. Um, or dig there, rather. But I would try a uh, different world, Ben. Different world. Uh, I would try digging all the way up to the like underneath them and try caving it in is probably what I would try. But at the end of the day, if the game just decides to not let you have access to certain items because the game doesn't think it's yours, I, you're just kind of SOL, unfortunately. What's up, 10T? 10TC. But yeah, so this is a, this is a new world. Uh, the reason we generated a new world is like I, I was getting tired of the long save times. <laughs> you, you might remember the like legit five-minute save times. Yeah, I was getting a little tired of that. The militia captain hacks the axe dwarf in the head with her iron battle axe. The injured part is cloven asunder. An artery has been opened by the attack. That seems good. Although, iron? Come on, you can do better than that. Steel, please.
and iron corks are the other thing I need. Thinking about just doing this with pumps. Sounds like a death blow. A head cloven asunder is absolutely a death blow, yes. Nobody survives head being cloven asunder. So what I think I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to dig this down into a small zone unto its own. And then it's going to have pump a pump underground... I think that's what we're going to do. It's going to have a pump underground that's automated. Yeah, sorry I can be more helpful. Eh? God, it is incredible how hard on the frames channeling is. A Hydra could survive? Oh, or an Etten, actually. Etten could also survive. There, there's several different critters that could survive that, yeah. Alright, so this right here is going to have yeah that's not the tool i wanted that's the tool i wanted so we're going to channel up at the end here and then this is going to go along here and down into the reservoir which is down here okay i'm going to need Sposis, thank you very much for the dollar. First time chat, and you threw a dollar at me. Thank you much. All right, so we're going to apparently wait for a new artifact to be made. Magma Forge. Ooh. That is our first 4G artifact. Who, who's making that? Catan the Planter. Uh, if you construct a wall and engrave it compared to smoothing a stone wall and engraving it, is there a difference in beauty? Uh, it's significant. It's a significantly higher value if it's if the wall is constructed, especially if it's made out of better materials. Which is also kind of a new feature for this version of the game. Secretly, okay. What did you What did you get? Iron bars, cow leather, and llama bone. Cool. All right. Mostly just gotta wait for the frame rates to increase. And I've got some forbidden tasks. When we've begun that mysterious construction, that'll be cool. Yep, currently, be, because we can engrave them now, yes. Block walls are in better, are in fact better uh, than smooth cavern walls. We're not making a... Why not start... 
I create? Hold on. Where did I put those levers? There it is. I was going to say, did I not make like a lever room? I thought I was making a lever room. That's generally how I do it, yeah, but like... Do you usually dig out areas as you go for a fort or dig out a large area? I generally dig out areas as I go. I'm not much of a pre-planner. Unless I'm doing stuff above ground, then I plan. What's up, not Patyrus? Okay, we just need Dwarf to bring this over. Then I'm going to be connecting that bridge that's at the far end to this lever. This is such a busy chunk of fort right here. I need to clean up the setup here too, real bad. You usually pre-plan, but end up with massive open spaces. I mean, there's nothing wrong with massive open spaces. Assuming you're okay with less stable frame rate, which personally, I, I don't really care. <laughs> There we go. And we can just watch the frame rate go up by like 10, 20, 15. Eh. An iron low boot, hey? Catan, the planter, has created not lifting tack, Don Gloton. Uh, an iron low boot and offers it to the armored boots. I think this is going to go into the mayor's office. Because, frankly, that is a symbol of our fortress. That... This is an iron low boot. All craft worship is of the highest quality. It is... This object menaces with spikes of iron and cow leather. On the item is an image of Ilana Hollowvine, the dingo in Llama Bone. Uh, Ilana Hollowvine is laboring the armor relates to the settling of the dingo Ilana Hollowvine in the True Dune in the year 7. They love this dingo. This dingo is, like, the most... Incredible. We'll never know. It's probably ambidextrous, in fact, Merlimbo. Th this dingo is like the most legendary thing in this world. Like everything has images of this dingo. It's always the goddamn dingo. It's always the same dingo. So this is going to be uh, in the mayor's dining room, which is going to go right next to it. It's, uh, I mean, I guess so. But where? There you are. And this should, uh, probably satisfy the mayor once I assign it to them. <laughs> Dingo is probably a better mayor than the current mayor. I'm pretty sure you could say that about most mayors. Like it's, I feel like it's a, it's a rare thing indeed that people would have nothing bad to say about their local politicians. <laughs> Proud after teaching dodging, but you're very uneasy. All right, well, we need to build a tavern. That is something I need to do. I'm gonna dig out this chunk of zone right here. I'm just gonna build a tavern in there somewhere, as well as build some more bedrooms in this area somewhere. I think we'll do a open space tavern and then bedrooms around the edge, constructed bedrooms. We'll also keep doing these dugout ones as well. But uh, one thing at a time, I'm also going to go into cabinets and every Bedroom that is starting to slowly fill up with clothing is going to get a cabinet. We'll just do it in that that way. 
Apparently there's two that don't have beds in them yet, which means those need to be assigned. Link, done. Perfect. What's a good use for gold bars? Statues, uh, doors, furniture. I like making gold furniture, personally. Actually, I should do that. Gold table. Gold throne, because I got tons of gold. Let's just make 50 of each. Start prepping for the tavern that I'm about to build. Uh, did you ever get hooked up? Nope. Gold goblets, actually, you don't make cups. But, yep, goblets are a good use. I've actually made a bunch of gold goblets. These are my gold goblets. See? Gold goblets. They're quite valuable. They're worth, like, 300 dwarf bucks each. Pretty good trade, good. Crafts are also good. Um, you know, like, if I were to make gold rings, that would be a good use. This dwarf is doing much better. Now that they're out of the military, no longer repeatedly experiencing trauma. So this down here, I'm going to start. Why can't I just click? Building marble blocks. Make sure the game's paused while I do this. Okay. Treat. So name I can't pronounce, and I'm too scared to try. Uh, what kind of dwarf would you like? This is going to be a generic temple, and we're going to start putting temples in this area. Up here, we're going to put a tavern. This is going to kind of be temples and tavern district. I think your next experiment is going to have three wide walls. You've effed yourself way too many times on plumbing. Plumbing? What do you mean by plumbing? Jeweler? I should have a jeweler. And there we go. Got this one, this gem cutter. I'm just sight reading your name, so if I put a letter in the wrong place, I'm sorry. I think I put an extra G in there. Iglista. Polish is hard. I, there's, it's like you took all of the letters and just put them into a blender. <laughs> from from a, a native English speaker's perspective, that's what it's like. Um, your last name is Tongs Phantoms, though. So Tongs Phantoms uh, tends to avoid any physical confrontations, and she works to square this natural tendency with her respective martial prowess. She prefers that everyone live as harmoniously as possible, and she has a tendency to go it alone without considering the advice of others. She tends to make a small mess with her own possessions. Yeah, no, they do need their own station, Celeste. I was thinking about that. Um, she is often nervous, and she tries to do things correctly each time. She's rarely happy or enthusiastic, and she is conflicted by this, as she values parties and merrymaking in the abstract. She tends to be a bit stubborn in changing her mind about things, and she is brave in the face of imminent danger. She is currently more fearless, and she is confident, and she is currently more shameless. She is currently less private and currently more thoughtless, and her blows out her breath when she's annoyed and she shakes her finger up and down when she's trying to remember something and she has trouble speaking when she's excited and she needs alcohol to get through the working day and is a hardened individual. 
She dreams of creating a great work of art, and she personally respects the law and doesn't particularly care about craftsmanship. And she uh, doesn't think one way or another about leisure time and dreams of creating a great work of art and likes malachite, bronze, dendric, agate, unicorn, horn, giant moose. Imagine how big a giant moose would be. If like normal moose is normal moose, imagine giant moose. That's terrifying. Also, um, M A N six four. Hello, um, light lychee wine and mog juice. The juice milk uh, gained from a mog, obviously. Um, you've killed nothing. You're embarrassed dwelling upon sleeping without without a proper room. Well, I'm sorry. And uh, the game is saving, so I can't read your description. The game's been, like, on point with these saves today. It's like, right when I'm doing something, it's like, I'm in the middle of something right here. God damn it, video game. What's up, fishy poos? I'm doing all right. Um, I've been very scatterbrained this week, so scatterbrained to all hell, but... Uh, Doing okay. Uh, tomorrow's big day because Tarn's going to be on the stream. Uh, day after that, the hot potato starts. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to take part in a charity event. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Especially considering, like, the official Kit Fox account with uh, Alexandra is going to have a, a slot. I don't know how many of you guys watched those um, beginner fumbles their way through Dwarf Fortress streams from uh, the uh, shortly after... Or shortly before launch of Dwarf Fort. I don't know how many of you guys watched those. Um, but uh, she's going to be playing in the hot potato too. It'll be fun. It'll be a bit of a mess, but I'm sure it'll be a good time. It's going to be nice to have Tarn on the stream tomorrow. Those were frustrating. <laughs> I, know, I know what you mean. <laughs> As somebody who was on one of those, yes, it was a, it was a challenge. I did my best. How long are you each playing for? Uh, about in, about four hours. It's not in-game time. It's um, strict time. So we, we have an hour limit per person. Although I think there's at least one five-hour set. Wild Force of Darkness has arrived. And these ones aren't seeking a parlay, meaning they probably... Have snatchers. Um. Uh oh. I don't think that reservoir is full yet. Nope, I haven't started filling it again yet. I can though. Um. Should probably close this lever. Well, actually, no. Let's let's close the front door. And there's also snatchers. Yep. Okay, that checks out. Why are you moving so slowly? Oh, you're haul hauling a gold boulder. Yeah, that would do it. Uh, Kib, the stone carver, has been found dead. Where are you? Well, I guess they caught up with Kib. Well, F's for Kib. Sorry, Kib. I mostly just want my soldiers to, uh, you know, get gear. But these uh, goblins are booking it towards the front door. Uh, they are fortifications, I think. I don't know what else they could be. These are fortifications. Those are fortifications. Have you not seen the new fortifications clubs? Are you, are you playing on the beta? Because if you're playing on the beta, you'll have new fortifications. The beta, there's a beta branch right now for Dwarf Fort that uh, has added new fortifications and a bunch of other sprites. There we go. 
Unraised Choke is now geared up. Okay, here come the goblins. So I will go up here and I will clear this. The dwarves are now fighting. This uh, first goblin appears to... Um, I'll bet you these guys over here are just like, all right, Strodono, you go in first and uh, we will fold up the rear. Anyway, they come around the corner going, oh God, there's actually dwarves here to defend this time. Um, let's just make sure nobody loses their names. Kulbok is uh, fighting down at the bottom with Zolok. Uh, we've got uh, Gonzru as well. Um, all of my dwarves appear to be terrified. Um, Odom is not very happy about this. Is afraid after experiencing trauma and horrified after seeing a goblin die, but satisfied after improving armor. Angry after dwelling upon a petition for a temple of the Coven of Right being um, forgotten. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, my, my dwarves stay in fighting positions. They better not get any injuries because I don't have a hospital. <laughs> um, our healthcare is uh, currently lacking. But it appears that we were able to take them out quite swiftly. Uh, Cybrek most recently said, I've improved my armor. That was satisfying. Death is all around us. I feel uneasy. And shakes the goblin around by the right lower leg, tearing... Wait, what? Shakes? Okay. Uh, so the, the hammer dwarf bit the goblin in the leg and then shook him around by the leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, those are, those are, in fact, fortifications. I mean, you, you were correct uh, on, on your assessment of what they were. They are, in fact, fortifications. Actually, let's just go to no orders, go to equipment. Reassign metal armor. They'll probably get better gear. But yeah, there's a there's a beta branch for um, Dwarf Fort right now. Um, and if you play in the beta branch, uh, you will uh, get new, uh, some baby sprites for certain types of animals and um, some patch, so, some bug fixes, some under the hood stuff. And um, can you please not stand right there? Some bug fixes, some under the hood stuff and various other things. Um, we're going to build a tavern right here. Which I'm just going to queue up a very large marble floor. Um, which dwarf was it that did that? I, I, I mean, I, I'm not actually sure which dwarf did it, so I need to. Wasn't you. Also wasn't run, Runway's Choke, was it? Nope. Yeah, I'm not sure which which dwarf did it. <laughs> like genuinely, I I I don't know. I I have to just go through every single one of these, I guess. Is it Alak? Nope. Um, there you are. It was Cybrick. Other Cybrick. Uh, it was this dwarf. Oops. 
and I'm over here just stretching. Yeah, no, it it, it was Cybrick. It was this dwarf. What's up, Taurus? Long time. Okay, so what items did you pick up? I see mostly the same things. All right. So this up here, um, actually, I guess I could just do this this way. Well, maybe not this way. Let's get rid of that. Rumble. Those working, and then you can just go down, 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 down. And then that can do that. You can go over here, go all the way to there, and then this can be channeled. Starting from here all the way up to the top. So this is going to be transporting lava down into here. This reservoir. But first we gotta also keep it going down, so we will do that. Oopsies. Oh, no problem, Footy Ray. <laughs> Way less harsh. Gotten that from a few people, but it's been a minute since anybody brought that up. Yeah, no, I uh, I made those in a manic haze back in December. It's the reason I think there's, you know, still 200 plus people watching here over on Twitch. It's very lucky. Good timing. Mm, okay, so... The lava is going to dump into this area right here. Basically, so I'm going to just put a cross there. That's where we need this to go to. Well, that's one of the places we need that to go to. Also, do I still have this on? Yes, I do still, in fact, have the burrow on. I'm like, why are they not digging? It's because the burrow's still off, or still on. Can't get there. Okay, so this is going to be our tavern. I don't know, my ass still seems to be pretty attached, so, fortunately. I'd be concerned if it decided to just leave. Let's use Cobaltite. Oh, that would be truly horrifying. <laughs> be like my uh, great uncle, I think. My grandmother's brother. So yeah, I guess that would... I'm not great with extended family terms because I don't have a lot of it. Um, but uh, lost both of his butt cheeks in a tank that exploded in World War II. <laughs> um, lived to tell about it. So yeah, it would be truly horrifying. Outies for now. We'll see you later, then. We'll see you later. <laughs> well then. <laughs> It's just, it's the first thing that comes into my brain whenever people are just like, you work your ass off. It's like, God, I hope not. <laughs> it's like, I'd like to keep that, actually. Very much so. Seems like an important part of the human body. <laughs> 
just a little glimpse into my terrible sense of humor, I suppose. All right, so we're gonna place gold chairs and tables. Nice. We'll also put another dining room here and we're gonna do, I think kitchen's right there, right next to it. Did he always need a donut to sit in? I never met him. He uh, passed away before I was born. And honestly, I've never asked, but I would assume so. I, I feel like sitting would be a challenge if you don't have hum like natural human cushions, you know? Let's go all the way over here. I just don't want to accidentally use the andesite thrones. Not in this spot. Otherwise, I would just use the build, use nearest material. I think we're going to do two taverns in this fort. We're going to do one down here, which is going to be enclosed, and then this one, which is just going to be open plan. And we're going to do bedrooms around the outside of this as well. It's going to take a while for them to haul those. You're going to see some real slow moving dwarves down there. I just got killed in your fort by a demon panda. There's worse ways to go. I'll take it in stride. It's fine. Maybe. Oh, actually, eh, no, I mean, it's listed as a minor. So this might actually be somebody else. But we, it's also gonna be hard to tell from the engraving, but uh, somebody named English Erdemitig Erdem uh, has risen, so. Let's see if this is enough to fill this. Well, it seems to be pouring out pretty quick, which is what we need. Then if this works, then we'll actually have defenses. But yeah, of all the ways to go, I'd rather, I mean, I'd rather die to a, you know, a, demo, a demonic panda than like, I don't know, get slapped to death by an elven short sword. A gray langer has stolen a giant cave spider silk shoe. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Also, if anybody uh, wants to go back and see World Gen or whatnot, uh, the part one VOD for this fortress is up on YouTube now. All right, well, we'll let that do its thing for a little bit. Seems to be filling quite effectively, especially with this upper layer now, so. Fingers crossed. Would melt infinite items. You mean like job orders wise? I don't know, it depends on how lazy you are. I'm lazy, so anything that allows me to be lazy is good. But is it better? That's... Depends on whether or not you like automating your orders. This world is busy. I mean, like, look, look at the overworld right now. If I um, jump over here and we go to news and rumors, look at all this fighting right now. These are all attacks happening. And also, like, things being appointed and moving. Also, this faction has... Um, The, 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 wow, that's a the hell of steam. Two thousand. As flang snarls marched, my king, who's uh, as flang snarls is marching on wicked assassins. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's this is huge. 
This is a massive set of fights. Also, there is rumors about artifacts that live that are in my fort, so that's good. <laughs> Goblin Hamlet? They took over a human Hamlet? Next thing they're going to tell us, they've taken over a human omelet. It's going to be terrifying. So this down here is going to be food storage and drink storage. But it's going to go this way a little bit. Because there's going to be a kitchen on this side that we're going to pop up and into. The world's got two corners of the world with goblins and places everywhere that got eradicated by humans and elves by the year 100. Sounds like it's time to do a regen. And we'll put kitchens underground. Kitchen go down here. So this is all going to be tavern. And then this down here is going to be a dining room. So might as well make the dining room. New inn slash tavern. Chad, I need a good tavern name. The something of something. The Palisade of Glo... Ooh, maybe the... um. The Defender of Toes. No, it's Boots. There we much better. <laughs> you saw someone's drawing on the subreddit today and people were kind of being kind of buttheads. As if they had created an artifact? Oh, you, what, you mean like being mean to them? I like the Defender of Boots. If Chad can come up with something better, then I'll go with it. But uh, we now have a tavern. But yeah, were people being mean to somebody's artwork? That's not very dwarfy. The Abbey of Idols? <laughs> That's uh, old... Player reference, I would say. God, I'm so happy they got rid of the idle counter. Saved so many brain cells from that. Okay, so we are going to go to labor. Yeah, work orders, yes. Brew! Drink from plants. If amount of drinks available is less than 50, you will brew 150. And let's actually double those numbers, 250. And 100. And this brewery over here, I can just get rid of. This stockpile we can also just get rid of. To be fair, I, I think that most people in abbeys are idle. Wow, frame rate. I hardly even knew ye. It's almost like you're uh, dumping lava somewhere you're not supposed to be. But no, it's literally just because of this. This is the reason the game's laggy right now. Also now, for some reason, my brain's going, so why are we idolizing Ness, as in, like, the video game character? You know, Ness from Smash Brothers. <laughs> That's totally what Ness is from, right? All right? 
right, so this up here, we are going to put two screw pumps in. Obsidian. That's the wrong direction. About comparing it to Krug? You know, I think people drawing fan art of Krug Smash art is like a category of Dwarf Fortress art in and of itself. Lava's evaporating. Yeah, it kind of seems that way. I don't know. This this was very much a, a, a temporary thing where I was just like, I'm going to dump lava in here, but yeah, it's not working. I need higher flow speeds, which means I need to just do this properly. So we'll just not worry about this for right now, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of funny. People are totally okay with, um, like, robots committing plagiarism. But the second somebody writes some or draws something that's an homage to an artist that they like, people get weirdly defensive. Like, it's totally fine when computers do it. But, like, if a human makes fan art of a thing that they like, nah, call the cops. Custom goblet. Goblets. That's just something that I've noticed recently. It's just kind of an observation. Not so much a fact, just an observation. But I have noticed, like, collections of people where they're just, like, super okay with AI art and fascinated by AI art, but then when somebody, you know, makes fan art, they get upset. Very strange to me. Very strange. But whatever. We're going to have to make a tavern keeper, I think. Frame rate's coming back because I guess there's not as many people digging right now. I guess so, yeah. Say, I, I think saying people have always been weird about it is maybe more accurate, actually. I think that's more accurate than my initial statement. Uh, you can just be pre for prepared meals and drink. And then I'm just going to do a general would stockpile down at the bottom here for everything but seeds and drink and prepared meals and then this will be the kitchen over here Yeah, but there's a very big difference between stealing and emulating, right? And I don't even mean, like, in the video game sense of emulating. I mean, like, fan art, right? So, like, tracing somebody's art is one thing, right? But, like, drawing art that is uh, heavily inspired by an artist is not stealing. That's flattery. Are those sixes supposed to be G's? Like Nug Lug? Is that how you're supposed to say that? Also, Devilish Potato wants me to read the last word story. Scroll up. Uh, so for those of you who are confused, if you go to my Discord, there's a word, there's a room called Add a Word Stories where uh, you can add one word at a time, and then I have to read them when chat makes me. Uh, they disrespect the way of disastrous ideas. When chocolate melts brains, it leaves a sticky and stinky residue. Uh, this sometimes makes dwarves unhappy, causing pain and constipation. Uh, platypi stingers are extremely painful. 
when stabbed into thorax because they taste spiky and pepper the demons. What utter madness does this kitty devil is cute? What? What utter madness does this does this kitty devil? What utter madness does this kitty devil uh, cute isn't it? <laughs> I, I don't know. Anyway, I caught up. Okay, so it's not like gotcha. Well, hello. Hope you're doing well. Also got a ton of seeds, apparently, that need to get put away. You know, it's kind of funny. I'm so not used to um, people agreeing with me when I say stuff. I always just assume I've said something wrong when people are just like, blind split spitting facts or blind saying the truth or whatever. It's like, oh no, <laughs> am I copying the wrong person? Oh, unpause that job. I'd like you to complete that job, please. My, my problem with AI is, you know, they, so, my, my problem with AI is this, right? People love to do creative jobs, right? You know, like video editing, production, art, writing. We could make AI do boring shit that nobody likes to do. But instead, we're making it create art. <laughs> That's my problem with it. It's a very fundamental, simple thing. It's like, fucking stop it. Stop doing that. <sighs> Bothers me. It's like, it doesn't need to be making art. It's not even crazy. It's just a, like, a, like, I don't know. It's like humanity 101. Don't make the robots do things we want to do. We're never going to be in a post-labor world. We're just going to be in a some people own all the patents for the AI world and everybody else is broke. We're never going to live in a post-work world. Not if it's conning people into thinking it's actual people's art, which I've seen happen many times on Twitter already. Now it's it's real fun because like you can it's even harder to tell who's doing what legitimately and who's doing what illegitimately. So if it uh, causes muddiness and confusion between what is art and what is AI art. Ay, ay, ay. How would rich people exist otherwise? Uh, by, you know, uh, not existing. <laughs> but, you know, we're back on this conversation. It's like minutes past since we've talked about hating billionaires. Zero. Time to go back to oil painting? Yep. The internet was a mistake, turns out. But it's such a popular topic. Uh, nature and outdoors, hiking and camping cures my depression. AI makes it worse. <laughs> it's gonna be like that's that that yeah sure it's probably it's a popular topic but God it makes me want to leave this planet <laughs> and not in the like oh I'm gonna go to Mars kind of way. There you go. Where I've now have a space to socialize and that'll help quite a bit. How much copper am I sitting on? 441. Okay. Uh, we're going to make copper pots. Let's do 200 of them. We 
We've made those gold thrones. Still getting barrels and stuff moved. Am I not making blocks right now? I am. I guess I only have four set up. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna focus on the uh, reservoir. Um, I think people want sentient AI because they like science fiction. I don't want either. <laughs> like just flat. Like we we have science with science fiction exists as a warning, right? Of things that just actively make society worse. I will never fully understand the circle jerk, I guess, of automate the planet. <laughs> it's like not everything needs to be automated to be done for us. It's got nothing to do with enslaving the robots. People need things to do. And I don't see how actively removing things for people to do benefits anybody. Well, then it shouldn't exist, Sombre. And you want to know why? Because what's cheaper? Pay an artist or have a server farm? Having a server farm is always going to be cheaper because it's just a building. You build it once and then it's just there. You upgrade it occasionally. Like, it, it, th that is not compatible with how capitalism works. It's not a question of what should and shouldn't be done. It's a question of what is cheaper. Computer is cheaper. Like, the, the prevalence of AI and the... It, or not AI. The, predev the prevalence of language models and uh, stable diffusion uh, makes me very, very sad that I am a human being who is um, physically incapable of just selling everything I own and moving to the country because I, you know, I need to be close to my doctor. I, I, my eyes don't work. I can't drive. Uh, I have to be close to, like, public transit infrastructure or I just, I can't live. Um, so because of that, I'm just kind of SOL when it comes to uh, continued existence um, outside of a city. So my only option is to continue doing what I'm doing. But it, I hate this industry enough already. And the constant obsession and like bizarre fetishism of let's remove the jobs that we have left is, and then people are just like, oh, but it'll make new jobs. No, it won't. Because the only way that it would make new jobs is if we had universal basic income or some other way of functioning in society. But large swaths of society are just going to cease to have any employment. And the only jobs that are going to be left are going to be the jobs that are too complicated to automate or that nobody wants to automate. So... I look forward to my future career of picking up garbage on the side of the road and selling cans because uh, the only streamers people are going to watch in you know a decade are going to be AI VTubers and people are just going to generate their own voice model podcasts and listen to those. So radio is going to go away. All entertainment is going to go away. Um, if that's the world that you actually want to live in, then keep cheering for it. Back again. Shady's back. Tell your friends. What's up, Tropic?
yeah, I don't know. I'm extraordinarily nihilistic on the to topic, and I, it, it just makes me angry. And I, I, I don't want to live in that world. I want to live in a world where people can be creative, and people can do cool things, and people can make cool things, and I don't believe that that is compatible with the direction that we're going with these learning models. It's got nothing to do with society. Our species isn't, compa isn't compatible with that, with the current structure that we live under. It's just, we're not. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm well aware that they already exist. In regards to that, there's already a AI yeah, VTuber. Of course there is. Like, there's multiples. With watching you on Twitch, it's so much more fun to see you play live versus on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, the YouTube channel exists as an ad for my Twitch stream. It's <laughs> it's like it's not the content I want to make. But I don't know. I just I, I don't I don't fully understand why chat keeps bringing this subject up because it genuinely just makes me a nihilistic sad person. <laughs> and it's like, come on, let's talk about anything else. Literally anything else. <laughs> I would rather fall off of a very, very, very high structure and cease to exist as a human than to think about AI. Pandasaurus Rex, what kind of dwarf would you like? Next topic then? It's okay, it'll come up again in 35 minutes. Somebody else will bring it up that wasn't here for this round of this conversation. I was like, oh. Oh, did it fix itself? I updated my bot. Maybe that's got something to do with it. <laughs> I restarted my computer last night and the bot updated. Um, also, Darius has been taken by a fey mood. Uh, I don't have a tavern keeper. Beardless tavern keeper, Panda? I can do that. Damn, that's one hell of a judge of intent. No, no, the world's actually a better, safer, more stable place than it's ever been in its entire existence, MMO Junkie. The difference is our brains are more connected than they've ever been in our entire history. Um, and the speed at which our technology is developing is significantly higher than our brains are developing. So the result is we have underdeveloped brains and overdeveloped connectivity that our brains don't know how to comprehend. So it's not that the world is dangerous and scary and, you know, getting worse and darker. No, it's not. Uh, like 400 years ago, if you lived in a little village, one town over uh, that had 150 people living it, and it, everybody could get, I don't know, raped and murdered by fucking Vikings, and uh, you wouldn't know for three weeks because messenger and, like, trade caravan or whatever the fuck uh, that sells you potatoes from the neighboring village just didn't show up, and you're like, man, we should go find out what's going on, and then somebody goes and does the eight-mile walk or whatever to the next town over, and they're like, oh, God, they're all burned down. There's nothing left. It's a pile of bodies. Um, the, the only difference is now we actually know what's going on around the world at all times because we're so connected. So the result is uh, pushback against management structures and people realizing, man, it would be great if we just, like, stopped fucking shooting each other. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, it's weird to me when people say the world's getting darker. It's like, no, it's not getting darker. We're just better connected. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Overstimulation is the reason touching grass is important. It's also the reason I haven't been uploading to YouTube as much recently is because, like, I've been finishing my streams and going, well, time to go sit at the other end of my apartment and listen to records. I mean, certified, Dumby, like, his historically being fat and lazy is was a sign of success. Like, if, if you had enough food to be fat and sitting in a chair, that meant that you, you were doing well. 
like a thousand years ago, if you, if you were doing well enough that you could afford to just eat fruits and vegetables and meats and sit in a chair, you were doing well. This is why I'm devoting so much mental energy now on how to catch up with a star starling. As, huh? On how to keep a starling as a pet. You can't. Why do you have a starling? What? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Death of fish. Why do you have a starling that you're keeping as a pet? Excuse me? What, what, why are you... Or, okay, hold on. Are we talking about Dwarf Fortress Starling? Or are you, like, real-life actual bird Starling? Okay, so in a real-life Starling. When they get stuck in the gut... I'm... Starlings are, like, the most hated birds here. Like, they're one of the few birds you're actually allowed to shoot out of the sky. <laughs> if, you, if you're a farmer and you live on your own land. Why do you want to keep a Starling? But that's a wild animal. Well, you don't keep wild animals. <laughs> what? Unless you're like a wildlife rescue, you, you don't keep wild animals. Anyway, Pandasaurus Rex, you're married to MMO Junkie. Um, she is swayed by emotional appeals and lacks confidence in her ability. She isn't particularly ambitious and she does not easily fall in love. She rarely develops positive sentiments and she is brave in the face of imminent danger. She has a noticeable lack of perseverance and she doesn't often experience strong cravings or urges. I might actually make this dwarf into a uh, captain of the guard. I am very adamantly against keeping wild animals as pets, but you live your life, I suppose. <laughs> um, she has a noticeable lack of perseverance, and she doesn't often experience strong cravings or urges, and she is a friendly individual. When she's thinking hard, she has a habit of licking her lips, and when she's th thinking, her body becomes very still. That's kind of creepy. She just stands still and licks her lips when she's thinking. Uh, ne her, she keeps her voice very quiet when she's nervous, and she drums her fingers when she's thinking. So she, wait, she stands very still, licks her lips, and drums her fingers when she's thinking. She dreams of mastering a skill and personally uh, holds crafty individuals to the lowest esteem and uh, finds the pursuit of knowledge to be a waste of effort and doesn't particularly value loyalty. She likes tin, glaze, black bronze, adventuring, sportry wood, and giant moon snail, leather in cages and earrings and chains, and the gaunt, uh, and... Hmm. Giant brown recluse spiders for their venomous bite. This dwarf would be a perfect captain. She carries massive amounts of fat, especially for one so short. Her quite sparse hair is greasy. Her very long hair is arranged in double braids. And she has an angular chin. And her lips are very thick. The internet says starlings are edible? Technically, everything is edible, right? <laughs> if, if it had meat on it, it's edible. I wouldn't eat a starling, though. There's not much on it. Most birds taste like chicken. I don't know. I wouldn't keep a wild animal, even if it's an invasive species. Wild animal's wild animal. Let it be wild animal. Emu tastes like steak? Emu's red meat? Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so Captain of the Guard is going to be Panda. Where'd you go? <laughs> What's funny is I'm kind of cheating with this. I don't actually need to give Panda an office because she's married to MMO Junkie. So technically she already has an office because <laughs> they're sharing. That's kind of awesome, actually. Power couple? Pretty much, yeah. All right, um... Need to also low key figure out where I'm gonna put my prison, but also Darius claimed a magma forge and has run off. Got gold bars. 
Lamable cloth? Whatever it is, it's going to be valuable. Well, I, uh, anything is edible, Death of Fish. The question of or not is whether or not it's going to be a regrettable after you've finished with the edible. Many edible things are rather regrettable if you if you eat them. Mm -hmm. I've had a, I've had regrettable edibles before. I'm sure, most of us have. Anything that makes my tummy feel upset the next day. Speaking of not upset, I made some pretty banger fried rice last night. It was very, very good. Jasmine rice with uh, hot peppers and lime. And the dwarves are very happy about this. Party time. A bag of Nilla wafers. Ugh. Yeah, don't do that. Maybe one. That's like eating a whole box of Twinkies. Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> have lots of gem windows. Game did it to me again. Sugar, sugar addiction? I, I like the opposite of that. Fortunately, I guess. Yeah, you know, honestly, I think this song has more or less just become the Door Fortress theme song in my brain. Waited, ate one more to help kick it, to help it kick in, and then they kicked him a little too hard, so after eating them. Ah, yes. Only five hours? Really? Those must have been some weak edibles. <laughs> also, chat, I'm not gonna lie, I'm bloody tired of uh, being one subscription off of 1100, so uh, have a sub, save keeps. You were the first person I saw that didn't have a badge when I scrolled up, so. I'm very, 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 very careful with the amount of stuff I put in my edibles. Four seconds later, another sub runs out. God damn it! That would be unfortunate. And discussed my problems with an acquaintance. Cool. No problem, safe keeps. Put those put those emotes to good use, yeah. Hmm. I erm. Um, there's a dead gray langer right there. <laughs> Why is there a dead gray langer? Okay, we are going to pull this lead. Actually, let's let's just let's do this from up here. That's perfectly convenient. Let's dig into this. It's 
So we'll close this, and we'll actually have our entryway built. Last night you dreamed you were playing Dwarf Fortress? I mean, the one of the descriptors of my stream is I dream about ASCII sometimes, which is true. I have dreamed in ASCII. I mean, the, the one time I grew weed in this building here, um, me and my uh, neighbor was like, we're, we're like, well, this, these three plants are mine and those three plants are his, <laughs> even though they were all definitely in the same apartment. Don't have to be a retired dad to take advantage of a rule. Uh, if I had a basement, I would do that. But... Ooh. Come on, Trump and COVID. I'm so sorry, Glass FMP. That sounds awful. <laughs> Like, listen to the... The Simpsons was right! Actually, that's that's true in multiple instances. But this makes me so sad that doors are, like, not as cool as they are otherwise. So Darius made this. So this door, a gold door named Ama Lackadeer. Uh, this is a gold door. All craft store ship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with nether cap and yak bone and encircled with bands of gold and llama wool and goat bone. This object is adorned with hanging rings of marble and menaces with spikes of donkey bone. On the item is an image of a <laughs> hollow line. The dingo in spore tree in in spore tree. Alana hollow vine is laboring. The artwork relates to the settling of the dingo Alana hollow vine in the true dune in year seven. Once again, Alana hollow vine. Why encircle golds with gold with bands of gold? But, but, <laughs> why not? <laughs> you already have gold. Might as well encircle it in <clears throat> more gold. Naturally. That freaking dingo. They just, they, they love this dingo. I'm telling you. It's like this world's Godzilla. Maybe it's like a dingo's ate my baby kind of thing. Why the dingo? One day we'll figure it out. What's up, Zoan Halp? Texture? True. Yeah, it's like gold studded with gold. Seems appropriate. I think for right now, I'm just going to put it here. Well, I, 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 the thing is, I'm not even thinking about dingoes when I think about dingoes ate my baby. Um, I think about kobolds ate my baby, which is a tabletop game. Kind of like what... It's... it's I, I want to say it's like Hero Quest, but it's not. It, it's it's kind of like super duper duper boiled down D and D, with a very very simple campaign and very very simple rules. The whole point is to eat somebody's baby and get away with it. Did anyone look up the legends for it? Uh, the world is available on my Discord server if you want to go look it up, but uh, I haven't looked it up though. No. And if somebody did, I must have missed it in chat, so. It's just in the DF save sharing room on Discord. What's up, Netter? I think that's how you say that. The K looks like it's silent.
Hmm. Trying to figure out where I want to put my prison. I need a prison. I'm kind of thinking around the outside of this. Like, actually... Gold chains, gold doors, make them real nice. It'll be a prison everybody wants to live in. Dwarves will be jealous of this prison. They'll be like, man, you got to go to prison? Hot damn, I'm jealous. What's up, Dave? Creature ate your what now? <laughs> okay. I'll just let them do that eventually. Got lots of things we gotta work on. Also, I never turned the music down after the song. My bad. The dingo born in year two, she was born in, she settled in the died of old age. It's gotta just be like what's the word? Is that a ghost? That is a ghost! Well, <laughs> certainly didn't place the, uh, the ghost memorial. Should probably go do that. Might as well just use the marble. <laughs> That's actually not a bad like take. She must have it must have been like the subject of like a well known book or something. For it to be such a commonly known event. Anyone try to mouse scroll over the video so you can see above and below? You know, it's I used to do that when I used to watch a lot of RimWorld. Back when I used to play a lot of RimWorld. So I'm sure people do that to me plenty. Will forts that you started to move on, will they develop over time? Dwarves will come and go. The layout will stay the same. Um, population will grow and lessen. And artifacts will move on. Dwarves will move on from those locations. And new dwarves will migrate there. Audio Coaster, how are you doing? It's going to be a busy weekend. We've got a, a hot potato happening. And tomorrow, uh, Tarn's going to be on the stream. I hope you've been all right. Am I playing the new beta? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not that new. It's been out for, like, what, 10 days now? It's not buggy, though, so I, I recommend playing it. You would achieve nothing. Yep. Born in 66, went missing in the year 284. This must have been a dwarf that caught fire. I think, th I think that's what happened there. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Does the, usually they are listed as copy, though, if they're not the original. Artemis? Catacombs, yep. Just like at, once you have enough catacombs, combs, eventually uh, your hair gets really, 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 really nicely groomed looking. It's almost as good as like a catafork. That was a terrible joke. I feel like I should be fined for that one. You yeah, got ripped off if you paid for the privilege. <laughs> definitely did not pay for it. I definitely modded Animal because I, I needed a mod. Uh, because 
beginning of December was wild, so I was like, okay, I need a few people I trust. Uh, D, you have a sword, and you have a sword, and you have a sword. That's why Orange also has a sword now. It turns out when things get a little busier over here. Yeah, true. I guess the caterpillar is probably the worst. We should put some caterpillars over in this catacomb. Over here, he has a sword. No, he doesn't. What are you talking about? There's no swords here. Oh, the sword. Anybody with a sword is definitely lying to you about whether or not they have a sword. Do not trust anybody with a sword. And uh, if you see somebody with a sword, please report them to your local authorities because that is a deadly weapon. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yes. And then Stone says hi to people. It's a very important job. There. Now, now we have a caterpillar in my catacomb. Anyway, this is a terrible joke. I'm going to just go back down to the main part of the fort and we keep working on that. Check in on this. Um... See, did they, did I queue up two of these or just one? Just one. Okay, let's make the second one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to there. Okay, not the bottom there. That can go away. Volcano Fort. Yes, and indeed. Uh, so here. So going to... They got these spots right here. Ah, well, <laughs> I mean, at least they left pumpkins on your patio instead of, like, th blowing them up with fireworks. Trifle, pewter, cabinet, in throne room, and or office. Really, man? What a nice mare. But uh, audio, since 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 I have you here for once, uh, how you been? What have you been up to? How's uh, how's work been? Keeping busy, I hope. Remember that vampire that made a sword out of a dead dwarf, the fell vampire? Yep. Yeah, 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 yep. I definitely remember that dwarf. And then uh, best part about that dwarf was after they did that, they uh, <laughs> then finally got let out and then showed up at the next fort again. Work's kind of been all over the place. I gotcha. In a good way or in a bad way? You know, actually, let's let's just do it this way. Um, no, I will just use whatever's closest. Noon to 9 p.m. is just awfully awkward. Yeah, in your industry, wouldn't you want to be there during, like, non-peak hours? At least I would think you'd want to be there during non-peak hours. Watch those boulders melt or get pushed. I think I need to make more mechanisms. Uh, we're going to do vertical axles, so right where the mechanism is, one layer up, just place it. One layer up, just place it. Instead of placing one here, I'm just going to place gear assembly there. Uh, 
and uh, I'm actually going to suspend this bottom one. Are we pumping water into a volcano? No, 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 no. We're pumping lava into a reservoir. Specifically this way and then down into here. The fuck? I think somebody's moving in my building right now. And um, I'm hearing like these kind of constant loud thunks, which is just like, can you stop that please? <laughs> Concerning me. So you. It's gonna be made out of obsidian. There we go. That's filling up. Das tactic with his neighbor and his dogs. Das, das, das tactic has a neighbor with loud dogs. I'll be honest, I've watched almost no DOS tactic. It's like I'm aware of him. I've seen some of his tutorials, but I never watched I've never really seen his streams. So this I guess theoretically could be connected all at once. Well, I guess what we need to do is I need to make more mechanisms. Yeah, I don't generally enjoy the types of games he streams, though. I, I mean, I like Dwarf Fortress, but he plays a lot of, like, wargaming stuff. Like, Forex stuff, and I don't generally watch those. Uh, rock Mechanisms. Going to make ye out of... Obsidian. Let's make 50. Kill up a bunch. Your dwarves end up falling through the obviously bad channeling plans. Yeah, bad channeling plans are a very common cause of death. This this is a fact, actually. I made you out of the wrong material. You're supposed to be diorite, not andesite. Hello, Sniper. It's a pleasure to be here. I mean, it's kind of a natural uh, result of watching my streams. You end up here. Contrain? You mean constrain? No, you're fine. I'm just not the most, um, I mean, you've watched my streams for a bit, Sniper. I'm just not the most responsive to, uh, that kind of pock, I guess? I don't know. I don't know the right word to use, but. Restrooms or bathrooms? Trust me, people have thought of that many, many times. But fortunately, just like girls, dwarves don't poop, so not something they will ever need. <laughs> and then... 
actually. Yes, that is one that we need. So that'll go down to the bottom. That'll clear both sides of this. And then I think the bottom bit down here, I will simply attach a bunch of drains, maybe? Alcohol dissolves everything? I, Tarn was joking about this a while ago. I think it was in one of my talks where he said that, like, it's probably just dust. It's just or something because they also only eat like twice a season so maybe they maybe they're like um because they do clean up grime and things can get grime covered so maybe they're kind of like owls where like owls will like puke up their food and it's like basically just like a weird or not their food but like they'll puke up all of like the 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 hair and stuff in their food and maybe dwarven feces is just like you know it's like a crab apple or not a crab apple a, 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 a horse apple but like drier. <laughs> Seriously. You know, honestly, I think girls don't poop is like just the original, like you can't convince me that birds are real. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it, it's, it's almost become a conspiracy theory. Owl pellets. That's the, yes, that, that is the word I was looking for. Yes. Pelts would be something very different, but pellets. Yes. Pellets, just like pe a Pez dispenser, but for owl pellet. <laughs> birds are not real. Yeah, no, you you you, de you definitely can't convince me birds are real. When I when I was at PAX West last year, there was a guy on the side of the road with like signs screaming that COVID's a, a hoax. Yes, it's more mild than it was, but very much a real thing. Um, and I was, while walking past, was very tempted to just turn around and shout, birds aren't real, and you can't convince me birds are real, because he was saying, COVID's a hoax, you can't convince me COVID is real. Uh, I was like, I want to just start echoing back, but replacing the word COVID with birds, but like, maybe also don't want to get punched in the face. <laughs> I'm just going to keep walking. Speaking of walking, the Courageous Cult has... um many worshippers in Heatstone and requires a temple and a priest. And then and just dump it into a hole. Gravel? Map rewrite. Partial blocks. One day. Um, I will accept this. The Courageous Cult. The Cult of the Courageous. I did say down here was going to become um, temples. So what I think Amadou. I'm going to block this off, maybe? And also, I'm going to do something that I've needed to do for a while. We're going to go down one layer right here. Yep, that's about the size we're going to make this. And uh, down here is just going to be basically just like a masonry building. This is where all of our mason stuff is going to get done. We're just going to move all of these mason shops down one layer, and there's this thing's just going to be full of them. You may be interested in a priest. Uh, well, only if you happen to be a member of that religion, right? Um, I can't make specific dwarves um, a priest of a religion unless they also happen to be a member of that religion. So, Like, just as a look-see, your dwarf... Um, you're a member of the Faith of Bristles. You're also a former member of the Ambiguous Crystal, by the way, which is a really good name for a group. And you were a member of the Crystalline Council of the Grasping Tombs. I don't want to go anywhere near the gra Grasping tunes, Tombs. That's definitely, like, something that happens in the Temple of Doom, right? Yeah, you can only become a, uh, a religious, like, leader of a religion that you are already a member of. You can't just arbitrarily be like, 
I want to be a part of this religion. And I know, like, just from looking at legends briefly, um, or not legends, but just from looking at, like, the, 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 the deities briefly in this world, there are plenty of religions. Plenty. And not all dwarves worship all religions. Also, we need to jump up to the top. Up here. Like this, that done. That's been suspended, okay. So I'm going to put a lever right here. All me. Nobody started making my mechanisms yet. Uh, normally, I, I so whenever I do get religions, generally what I do is I give them to uh, the I give the priesthood to a dwarf that is already named. Um, is usually how I do it, just to kind of you know keep it fair-ish. So if you happen to get a dwarf named and then uh, that dwarf happens to be a member of that religion, when that religion demands a temple, I will give it to the dwarf that's already named. So. That's usually how I do that, or how I've done it up until this point. Nope, the dwarves do that for plus labor. Dwarf Fortress is a game all about letting the... Nope, the dwarves do that. Nope, the dwarves do that. Nope, the dwarves do that. So the answer to the majority of questions like that is, nope, the dwarves do that. They do that independently. Player has no agency over that. That's all done in world gen. Yeah, just redeem a dwarf if you want a dwarf. Well, we're waiting on that. Suppose I will just use Rough Obsidian for this one. Is there a problem with making a universal temple where everyone can pray? Nope, but they, like guild halls, will demand temples for specific religions. They'll get happier thoughts. So if, if I, okay, so say dwarf worships the holy god Bob, right? If a dwarf worships Bob, then a dwarf is going to want to go to a temple dedicated to Bob. Dwarf is not going to want to go to a temple that is dedicated to Steve. Dwarf wants to worship a temple that's dedicated to Bob. If it's generic temple they might get a little bit annoyed at the fact that they're only getting to worship at a generic temple. But it's still better than nothing. It's still better than, you know, having to uh, not have a temple at all. So it's it's like, it's better than nothing, but it's not a perfect stand-in uh, for a temple for Bob. If, you, if they want to worship Bob, then, damn it, they have to worship Bob. I will never go to a temple dedicated to Steve when I want to worship Bob. I don't know why I came up with that terminology, but I just, I, I figured it would be an easier analogy. God, I probably went to the church of Bob the Builder when I was like six. Alright, let's go diorite blocks, I suppose. Large enough for dancing? Do you want them to dance in the temple? Dancing makes them happy. That's kind of up to you. Do they need it? I mean, it's better if it has it. I mean, this is just a, a generic temple, by the way. For a little bit of clarity's sake here. You know, I made this one out of the wrong color, but it's perfectly in the middle, so I think I'm going to stick with it.
What is this, dancing? Uh, when dwarves uh, are in a public space that allows for dancing, like a temple or um, a tavern, then they dance, and then they sing Dancing Queen, Young and Sween, only 17, or however those lyrics go. And um, they like dancing. Mm -hmm. How much space does dancing need? I think it's at least five by five in a tavern. There isn't anybody dancing right now, but if they are, if they, when they do dance, um, they, they get little music notes above their head and they do line dances. They do circle dances. And uh, you can read the descriptions of the dances if you click on the little magnifying glass in this screen, similar to how you can look at the description of the poems. Like right now, um, they, they, okay, that dwarf's just socializing, but uh, where is, is anybody doing poems? Poems, 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 poems. Nope, Medi meditating, nope. Uh, yeah, no, nobody's actually. Uh, singing or dancing or anything currently, but. All this has been dug down another layer. From the god of red rocks. <laughs> Why twerking? All right, up here. How have I not started working on mechanisms? Did I deconstruct my mechanisms or something? My mechanics shop? AB, actually. General Cooper, what kind of dwarf would you like? The biggest dance function apparently needs 10 by 10. Yeah, I think 5 by 5 is the minimum. But dwarves know ABBA? Do you, doesn't everybody? I mean, come on. Who doesn't know ABBA, I think, is the better question to ask. One that fights. Okay. Who fights? I'm going to give you Kubok. General Cooper. Cooper. Uh, General Cooper is not the type to fall in love or even develop positive feelings. He has a strong sense of duty and generally is unhindered by the thoughts of others. He is stubborn in changing his mind about things and he is often nervous. He is not inherently proud of it, or she is not inherently proud of her talents and accomplishments and she uh, is a friendly individual and can handle stress. She has, an active she has an active sense of humor and she is grateful when others help her out. She's comfortable with others that have a different appearance or culture and she feels lustful. Uh, she tends to make a small mess with her own possessions, and she has a greedy streak, and she generally acts with a narrow focus on the current activity. Still dropping their old clothes on the floor and not trashing it? Uh, well, I mean, they just kind of do that, but, like, if you're, re if they're not bold X's, they don't put them in the refuse piles. They might just need, um... Uh, cabinets in their bedrooms to put their clothes in. Uh, she needs alcohol to get through the working day and likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at crappy weather and doesn't really care about anything anymore. She dreams of crafting a masterwork someday and this dream was realized. And she personally values cunning and doesn't see, feel strongly about the law and likes tetrahedrites, steel, and prays 
uh, and praise and bolts and thrones and earrings and crutches and guinea fowls for their social nature. And the words of the saber of sieging and the sight of the poetic glosses of impossible prefers to consume grackle and prickleberry wine and blood amaranth seeds and can't stand toads. Aesthetics-wise, uh, General Cooper uh, is what was once a thin frame, now bearing enormous thick layers of fat, <clears throat> muscle, uh, and her hair is clean-shaven, and her eyes, her ears are splayed out, and her hair is charcoal, and her skin is burnt umber. I wouldn't want my my hair to be, or my skin to be burnt, personally, but just me. I, I don't know. Brahms! Thanks for the 18th month. Welcome back. I hope that you've been well, dude. Right, let's go all the way down to there, up to there, up to there, down to here. Um, new temple to the courageous cult, the god of minerals and courage. If some of your military drops prepared meals in their rims despite having cabinets and chests, what could be the issue? They just do that. There, there is no issue there. They just do that. Uh, don't give them backpacks. If you don't give them backpacks, they can't do that. I just don't give them backpacks because they don't really need them. I used to have a dwarf in uh, Long Death who would hoard strawberries. At any given point, there was about two to three dozen strawberries in their bedroom, rotting. <laughs> it was kind of adorable at a point. We eventually started to see humor in it. I mean, maybe, but that's not what we named the dwarf. They distaste toads. They would hate giant toads even more. Yeah, unfortunately, they're, they're, those are different creatures, though. Giant toads are very different creatures from toads. And not really one to be confused, frankly. They are very different creatures. One is giant, naturally. No, it doesn't work anymore. Chest is probably full, if I had to guess. If they were doing it at one point and then stopped, chest is probably full. But that's just a guess. I'm not totally sure. All right, so this is going to be citizens only. It's not going to be a temple technically for a little bit, so let's get some... Uh, let's get some... Some nice thrones in here made of gold. Oh my god, I hate them. Oh yeah, that's fine then. Yeah, no, because they're totally different creatures, right? Well, I mean, to give you an idea, right? I don't like brown recluse spiders. I don't like black widows. I love jumping spiders. They're a different creature, you know? The dwarven mind is truly a mystery sometimes. Yeah, I, I honestly don't even know what the Dwarven Mind is doing most of the time. It's just, 
Dwarves work in mysterious ways, and sometimes they barely even work. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. To be fair, they're drunk all the time. All the time. If a dwarf, if a dwarf isn't drunk, we need to make sure that the, these children are delaying the construction of these windows by playing where they're supposed to go. Children, please. I'm going to make gold altars. Ten of them. What, drunk all the time? <laughs> or almost all the time? Here come the dwarves very slowly bringing thrones over. A lot of blueberry seeds. Full tag, the dog has been missing for a week. That can't be good. I wonder if we've started making um, those mechanisms yet. Yep, we did. Sweet. Ba -ba -da -ba. Dog chased the wrong tail. <laughs> That's a sad tale indeed. I'm curious about what this fort looks like in ASCII. Cool. It's pretty cool. I'm a fan. gonna look a lot better once that's full of lava though bedrooms look pretty okay too your mind is a mystery and you barely work and alcohol is not much of an issue well i mean alcohol not being an issue is good okay so we can recognize priesthood so the holy comet is the name of the religious leader of the courageous cult and um the game's saving jerry gord uh is going to be the holy comet because general cooper is in the military so i'm not i'm not gonna give it to them also uh, J jerry gord is a competent persuader and a skilled counselor uh what about like Anybody who plays any other ASCII game. Like, you could do that with CDDA, technically. Twitch is sending out emails saying, we're looking for content for TwitchCon Las Vegas. So if you're going to TwitchCon Las Vegas and you're a streamer, maybe you should do an event. Maybe we will. You know, I think I'm going to go back to uh, annual saving instead of seasonal saving. It's kind of nice only have to only having to wait for a save screen once per year. Going to be honest. So I got to say YouTube shorts are weird. <laughs> they either get like 4,000 views in the first hour or nobody watches them. There's like no in between. All right, Jerry Gord is now a religious figure. Meaning uh, we've now set... Now got a vile force of darkness that's arrived. Blah, 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 blah. All right, military. I mean, military. 
One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And turn on the berry, or the, the, the burrow. <laughs> when my fort floods with magma in the 11th month, then I will fix the problem. Odom does not like the military. Damn, you do not. But you are interested remembering learning about Hammer. Big MC Hammer fan. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No, they don't. Not at all. PS4 Killjoy. I mean, they would if it rots away on their body. But just clothing rotting away? No. Um, well, General Cooper appears to be going for the Snatchers. All three of them have turned around and are running for the Goblin Snatchers, which is maybe not the best thing to be doing because there's other goblins now that are going to be getting into the fort, but we seem to have killed two Snatchers. I know how this video game works, Ram Illusion. Yeah, thank you. And your, your point is what exactly? It's also why in the beta they removed um, ref, uh, refuse stockpiles from the default all stockpiles. So if you make an all stockpile, it does not include refuse in that now. What are they doing? Such an odd place for them to be sitting. Oh, did they, did they, did they kill a magma crab? Wow, they did. Is there another magma crab in here? Man, the heck? <laughs> they killed a magma crab, chat. My dwarves are coming for the fight. It appears that um, Cybrek and Erib are getting into the fights first. Shortly, short behind, uh, close behind is uh, Odom. The hammer dwarf era screams, How fleeting life is beyond fear! And attacks the goblin crossbowman, but he jumps away, dodges an iron crossbow bolt. The hammer dwarf then bashes the goblin crossbowman in the right lower arm with his silver warhammer, bruising the muscle. Move a few turns forward. I'm seeing goblin blood. Bolts being loosed and hopefully missing my dwarves. It appears they did. This guy right here, just like firing bolts directly at them in point blank. Meanwhile, uh, Nagor King seems to be having a rough afternoon. Uh, we're going to let him get uh, turned into a red piece of schmear on the ground. The dwarves are dodging in between the, the, the bolts that are being loosed and the arrows from the one goblin that brought a bow for some reason. Um... This isn't really a fair fight now because we're in melee range, and because they are ranged and we are not, um, we're just going to pretty much crush the competition, or at least of what's left. Well done, dwarves. Well done. The command sword that you were probably looking for is a sub-only command, so tier twos and patrons have access to that command. And let's turn this off. So yeah, if you hear people using sound commands, it's because they are paying for them. Just for anybody that causes confusion for. Because apparently it causes a lot of confusion. I mean, a lot, but it causes enough. Um. Okay, so you're the lock. So this is going to be uh, lava tunnel 
lock. Are there issues with trading? Do you know about the difficulty settings in Dwarf Fort? There's two difficulty settings. There's enemies and there's economy. Normal economy um, makes, it was basically like your default setting and hard economy makes everything valued at one third of the amount it would be normally. So trading is more difficult. Um, built like building temples is more difficult because you need a significantly higher amount of value, that sort of stuff. They did not remove the increased wear rate. They just simply removed it from the default uh, all stockpiles. So if you make a stockpile and you set it to all, it won't have the increased wear rate anymore like it used to. Technically, it's not Remolution. It was just extraordinarily well hidden before. So essentially now, like here, I can actually show you. If you make a stockpile and set it to all now, and you go to custom, it doesn't include corpses and refuse. It used to. Uh, when this, when version 50 launched, if you made an all stockpile, it would automatically include those. If in non Steam DF, if you make a stockpile, no. <laughs> okay, so for the thousandth time, if you make a refuse stockpile in Dwarf Fortress, it's been this way as for, I don't know, a long ass time. Um, if you make a refuse stockpile, stuff rots faster, regardless of what's in it. That's what refuse stockpiles do. It doesn't matter if it's version 50, version 47, version 45, version 44. That's what refuse stockpiles do. They've always done this. I could go in the wiki and like tell you exactly when that mechanic was added if you like, but nothing is only a Steam thing. It's the same game. It doesn't matter what version you're playing. There are there is nothing that's only a Steam thing in Dwarf Fort. Don't know how else to say it at this point. <laughs> You like keeping skulls around? Then when you make a refuse stockpile, custom, refuse, all, skull. Oh yeah, I guess actually what you would do is you would just remove skulls. So you'd go to all and then remove skulls. So skulls, none, done. Just do that. You don't even need to search for them. Literally just make a refuse stockpile and don't put skulls. And every single different creature type that has a skull. Like a bonobo. Or bobcat. Or bobcat man. Or cat. Or a cave dragon. Or a chameleon. Or a cent centaur. If for somehow you got a centaur. I always forget there's... Are there really centaurs in this game? Anyway, um, yeah, that, that's how you would do it. That means you can't stockpile the skulls? The sigh. Make them into totems or something. So make crafts with things that go into refuse. Just don't put them in a stockpile. Not everything needs to be in a stockpile. I mean, the vast majority of items in my forts don't end up in stockpiles. Yeah, exactly. Leave skulls in the butcher shop and put a craft store shop next to it. Just problem solved. It's 
Same as the wagon blood of old? Yeah, that's odd. <laughs> it's like, what? But. I mean, that, that's all I would do. Really. Like, if you if you really want to make, like, totem crafts or something, or if you, you want to make skull crafts, or crafts using skulls, that that's what I would recommend, is just, like, just... You know. Don't worry about it. Basically. <laughs> Got another artifact going out. Human caravan has arrived. Just remember, the free version of this game that you download from Bay 12 is the same game as the version on Steam. So when I say Dwarf Fortress works this way, there's, unless I'm specifying version numbers where I'm talking about, oh, this was a thing in version 47, but isn't a thing in version... 50. It's got nothing to do with whether or not it's paid. Like, at Dwarf Fortress is Dwarf Fortress, regardless of whether or not it's the one that's on Steam. They are identical games, mechanically. But people keep asking me, it's like, is this a thing in the Steam version? It's like... it. It's the thing in version 50. <laughs> All right. Is the beta available in Classic? That is not. No. The beta is not currently available for, for Classic that I'm aware of. Although, out of curiosity, is there anybody in this stream who is still just playing Classic who hasn't bought Premium yet? I'm curious how many people who are who haven't like played version fifty, or or maybe is or are you play? Is there anybody in chat who's playing version fifty from Bay Twelve? Looks like Mike Wazowski. What? That? I mean, it's just a blob, but <laughs> I guess. That pit in the ground definitely hasn't done its paperwork, though. It's just a blob, correct. Word, I guess. You gave them your money when you were standing in line getting coffee the day it came out? The day it came out, I was sitting here streaming. <laughs> it was a fun day. The day I will, I will remember for the rest of my life, probably. Another Magma Forge. Damn. Copper bars. A copper amulet. Keeping it simple. I respect it. Version 50 and ASCII, but then you bought the Steam version a few months ago? Gotcha. I'm just curious about how many people are actually playing version 50 via Bay 12. It's like, I completely understand why some people are sticking with version 47, regardless of, like, if you like the UI more, um, you prefer the hotkeys, or uh, you want your tile sets, or uh, you want to play adventure mode. There's, like, there's lots of reasons to go back to version 40 47, but it's really kind of curious to, to know how many people are playing version 50 via Steam. Um, ton. Or via non-Steam, via the website. Ton, the metal crafter, has created Bekarimstol, uh, a copper amulet made out of copper, and offers it to us, our faction. This is a copper amulet. Our craft ship is of the highest quality. On the item is an image of Asteth Rockwebs, the dwarf in, and dwarves in copper. Asteth Rockwebs is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the dwarf Asteth Rockwebs to the position of King of the Tufted Urms in 249. Really? Well, that's interesting. It doesn't have an image of the dingo on it. What is this? Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, I miss the old hotkeys. Like, I, that's just kind of a fact. I think I always will. But at the same time, like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go back. I prefer this version of the game so much more. What kind of artifact is this? Not a dingo, clearly. Okay, so we need to pull this lever, which is going to stop this and may also cause some stuff to get toppled, but that's fine. Then put a gear assembly underneath this. Is there any reason to export bands? What? <laughs> so, you mean to ignore them or to behave, like listen to them? Like, what, what, what do you mean? You, a, a ban is not a thing that you can export, or import for that matter, in Dwarfort. A section of cavern has collapsed. Excuse me? How? Well, I need to make a hospital, because shark jumping walrus is seriously injured, apparently. Not sure how that caved in, but I guess I must have done a bad job channeling it. Uh, Chief Medical Dwarf. White Doggo, you get to be the Chief Medical Dwarf. This area right here is going to be host battle. Uh, one of them, you can be a surgeon. You, you can also be second doctor. Okay, Zuglar, you can be our diagnoser. Aegis, who's never seen surgery before, can be a surgeon. And Cole, you can be our bone doctor. I mean, I'm not sure how that caved in. A little odd. But stuff caved in, so... But um, is there any reason to know? No, because we've only been producing earrings for a little while and it just slapped an export ban. So if you disobey, ex okay, so here, here's, here's the thing. Let me talk about nobles for like a second here. Um, if you have a noble, they are your fortress's therapist. The happier they are, the happier the fortress becomes in general. This includes religious figures in temples. This includes your mayor, your manager, your baron, your king, your queen, your whatever. They ba basically, dwarves go and have meetings with them. They crown somebody in charge and it gives them a really positive mood buff, buff. So the happier your royalty are, the happier your fortress will be as a whole. Okay? With export bans, if you disobey export bans, then the captain of the guard will run around and beat the shit out of anybody who they deem to have broken the law. Um, and then if you have a prison set up, they will put them in prison. If you don't have a uh, captain of the guard or any kind of justice system set up, then nothing happens, but your noble gets extraordinarily pissed, and any dwarf in your fortress who respects the law gets pissed. 
So you can completely ignore it, but it will bring down the general mood of your fort significantly. So should you pay attention to export bans? I say yes. Do you need to? No. Should you? I think it's a good idea. But you play the game the way you want to play it. Well, it depends on how strong they are, bit of boy. If your captain of the guard is a weakling and has no weapons, they will slap them a couple times and maybe put them in a hospital. If your captain of the guard is like an 18-foot-tall military veteran who, you know, has trained for 150 years in your barracks, yeah, they're, they're going to one-tap people in the forehead and instinct of them. I mean, then you'll just have a lot of bodies if you dis if you disobey the export bans. I personally really, really like export bans. I think it's a fun mechanic. But, like, generally, it's just like, all right, change what you're trading, right? Like, right now, uh, export of bucklers is prohibited for me. And it's not hard to obey them. Like, just keep an eye on what... Um, on what color your trade items are. If an item is red, then it's banned for export. Easy peasy. Aren't most of those grammar websites kind of like down to it doesn't actually matter. It just depends on like the author of that particular piece of literature. Pretty sure that's about as much as those actually matter. Okay, well, I can wall this off down here. And nobody cares, I don't think. Surplus labor. I certainly don't. Okay, so we just need this to get connected, and then I can pull the lever and see if this will fill up. It should. Pumps should be enough. Yeah, but not it. This game wasn't developed linearly, right? Microglossum. So stuff has been added since certain rules have been put in place. Kind of makes a check out. Whatever that's worth. So pulling this lever right here is going to turn on this pump. Or these two pumps. Here comes Dorf to come pull it. And it's pulled. Bonk. There it goes. And here comes the lava. Oh, shit. We need a doctor's guild. That's probably helpful, actually. Dude, hold back a little. Don't give him a weapon. I literally never give my Captain of the Guards weapons for that reason. Less casualties. Whoa, 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 whoa. That should be pulled. <laughs> Those definitely need to be closed. Otherwise, I'm just going to be pouring lava directly into my fort. Um, turning the enemies into smoldering messes. That's what it's going to be used for.
There it go. I'm about to get hit by an ad. Apologies. Excellent. Seems to be pumping fast enough. And also, you know, other fun shenanigans. Once I have all this lava in this reservoir, there's other things I can do with it, too. I'm going to use this ad break as a chance to use the restroom. I will be right back. All right, I return. It's a good thing I turned my camera off when I do that because I almost fell over. <laughs> I stood up and like almost like just fell over because my right leg, uh, I've been sitting cross-legged for the past bit and my right leg was completely numb and I didn't, re didn't realize until I stood up. It's good to be back. But yeah, this, this bottom area is going to fill up, and then it's going to bubble over onto the upper area, and then it's going to bubble up onto here, and then up to here. And there's a chunk that's open, so I probably should build something there. But yeah, that, that shouldn't take too, too long to fill, I don't think. <laughs> Just fucking die. <laughs> Camera turns off. Never comes back on. Oh, also, um, super unrelated to Dwarf Fort, but I might be streaming some of this tonight, but uh, it's, it's updated three times since I've turned my stream on. Uh, this game's coming out on the 1st, May the 1st, um, and uh, it, it, has, it has a demo, which is available, which you can go try, um, but uh, this is a super neat little Coffee Break roguelike that uh, I turned my computer on last night after I was done streaming to play more of it because it's just it's just a whole bunch of fun. I've got a couple of videos on the YouTube channel of it too. Path of Acra is the name of the video game. So It's one of those games that uh, I have a weird feeling might do well. Super easy to get into as well. Casual teas become a stone carter. We made 50 obsidian mechanisms. The humans have embarked on their journey. Wait, really? Did you just happen to dig straight down through a spire? What are the odds of that? That's incredible. <laughs> like, genuinely, that's kind of incredible. Like, that's impressive. I don't normally in. But yesterday I was. That that's amazing. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> that is amazing. I don't think I've ever accidentally into hell before. But yeah, no, so the, the lava's going to pour in here and then right here, which is going to fill this up and this up. I can dump it out the back using this lever, the tunnel lock, this lever. 
Um, I also need to connect you to this bridge because that's now finished being built. And uh, then the drain is going to go out the bottom of this. And this is... Ooh, I know what I'm going to do with this. So my, my drain is going to do this out, out the sides here. And we're just going to, um, you know, cause the base of the mountain to erupt a little bit. I mean, that's pretty dwarfy, I got to say. So we're just going to do this. This is going to be our drains. I was thinking about going all the way down to caverns, but I'm looking at this and going, we're on layer plus 40. That's going to take a while. So instead, that's going to be my drain. That's going to be my drain. And uh, just for the sake of having some lava in here all the time, I think I'm actually going to channel this down one further and have the drain a little drains, probably a little higher up. But I would like there to be. Uh oh. My dwarves are stuck. Well, that's a shame. We should probably give them a way out. Baka glass, what kind of dwarf would you like? I will give you the, the list in a sec. Just just, just let me just let, just let me complete this. Happy dwarf? Beard or no beard? Actually, don't you already have a dwarf? Oh, my crazy. Maybe you had one and they died. I can't, I can't remember. But I thought that you had one. Nope. No, you do not. All right. So, uh, beard or no beard? Because Kulet seems to be the happiest um, bearded dwarf. Or uh, Kivish would be the happiest non-bearded dwarf. Colette? Okay. Colette, let me know if that's enough for you. Uh, Baka Glass is a peasant. <clears throat> a peasant. Very much a peasant. Currently hanging out in the tavern as a peasant should. I would be too if I was a peasant. Uh, you have plenty of the family, and none of them live here. You do have a lover, and clearly you left them in a different fort. Two, in fact. Um, you're a very happy dwarf. Uh, you saw a dwarf recite the truth and the town at the Defender of Boots, and that was very delightful. Um, he often feels filled with joy and strongly prefers ideas of discussions and of ideas and abstract concepts over handling specific practical issues. He uh, is greatly moved by art and natural beauty, and he is he feels strong urges and seeks short-term rewards. And uh, he is often come. Um, oh, sorry, wait, wait, wait. wait. He rarely feels discouraged and could be considered rude. He is stubborn in changing his mind about things, and he is fairly important. He thinks he is fairly important in the grand scheme of things. He is somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual and live differently from himself, and he enjoys the company of others. He generally finds himself to be quite hopeful about the future, and he generally acts with an impartially. He is rarely moved to mercy, and he is not particularly interested in what others think of him. And he prefers to present himself modestly, and he has a sense of duty. Shakes his finger up and down when he's trying to remember something. And when he's trying to remember something, he usually starts tapping his feet. And he rolls his eyes when he's exasperated, and he needs alcohol to get through the working day. Dreams of raising a family personally sees lying as an important means to an end. You sound like a bard. And doesn't care about nature one way or another. He likes olivine, pig iron, white jade, uh, the words of the amethyst of deserts, and the sound of the meandering mother, and the sight of the poetic glosses, and when possible prefers to consume giant grizzly bear and two grain wheat beer, and can't stand flies. Uh, he, he is short and his hair is straight. His very long beard is arranged in double braids. His short sideburns are arranged in double braids. His very long hair is, a, is neatly combed. His, he has a clear voice. 
and uh, his and very low cheekbones, and his copper skin is slightly wrinkled, and his ears are somewhat broad. His head is somewhat broad, and his eyebrows are somewhat high, and his hair is mahogany. And um, let's see, how good are you at singing? You know plenty of poetic form. You're a dabbling liar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, sure. You're a dabbling comedian. Dabbling conversationist. You've lied once or twice. Dabbling. Um, what's the story? I don't think I can check now. Oh, no, I can. The dwarf Pandasaurus Rex became the captain of the guard of the armored boots. Is the current story being told. Scholar, I don't have no library. I'm too busy building Death Trap. When you start a new fort in the same world? When you start a new fort in the same world, they keep their nicknames, or they're supposed to anyway. Well, this thing's still filling at a pretty good pace too. Shark jumping walrus is dehydrated. Are you still in hospital? Ah, yes you are. Probably needs traction or something, if I were to guess. This is the shittiest hospital I've made in a while, but hey, it's better than nothing. Needs cleaning, needs immobilization. Lower leg needs cleaning. Well... I need um, water is the actual issue, but there is water down here. Do I need more buckets maybe? Actually, hold up. Orderlies, uh, only select to do this. Let's just do everybody with any kind of skill in orderlies. Let's make copper bucket. And just make 30 of those. I mean, you're working with magma? I need a hospital. Doesn't matter what we're working with. Hospital needed. The important. Are there doors with missing limbs? No. But they do not have the ability to stand. Dwarves are chanting. The sagging unions is an example of the blossom of amethysts. The work has no particular subject, and overall the composition, composition is inspired. The blossom of amethysts is a form of music used for entertainment, originating in the kingdom of fire, a human civilization. The rules of the form are applied by composers to produce individual pieces of music that can be performed. Uh, the blossom of amethysts is a well-designed multi-path path multi-passage structure, the theme of brief series of variations on the theme and possibly all repeated and brief coda. Hmm. The insightful tome is a poetic narrative intended to praise the religion, or religion originating in the kingdom of fire. The form guides the poets. Uh, interesting. Okay, so they're, they're, per they're performing the insightful tome, which is a poetic narrative, uh, to praise religion originating in the kingdom of fire, a human civilization. 
and uh, the Blossom of Amethyst is their form of music. And so they're using a poem from that human sieve as well. Uh, the Uncle and the Sagging Unions is an example of the Blossom of Amethyst, which is the type of music that they are, or the song that they are playing. And uh, the Insightful Tome is the poetic narrative that they are saying. Uh, not around the volcano. No, no. The aquifer is down here in this corner. This this corner has the aquifer. But I need to actually get water into the fort. That's something I need to do. All right. Well, I need to uh, pull this lever twice. Actually, just once. Oh, hey. Speaking of humans, there quite literally are two humans in the fort. You know you guys can just leave, right? Apparently, we have a tastefully arranged trade depot. They are quite happy with. So, um, need splints too. Maybe that's what they need? They just need splints? My front door ain't locked, is it? Oh, wow, it is. <laughs> okay. That explains a lot. It's like, why can't I water these doors? Because the front door is locked. All my doors are closed. You just wish the traders would drink at it? Um... I never really thought about that, actually. That would be neat. There we go. You know, my frame rate keeps hitching, and I'm constantly panicking that I'm spilling lava somewhere. <laughs> like, I keep looking at the mini-map going, nope, no, no lava spilling. None yet, none yet, none yet. Clean patient. Okay, so this is happening now. Humans are leaving. This is a pretty epic front gate. What do you guys think, chat? I think this is one of the better front gates I've made. If I set this up correctly, I could also um, build this into a uh, lava fall here. Um, I'm also kind of thinking about making an automated shotgun setup coming out of here. Although, how many layers is that? One, two, three. Well, that'd be a little annoying, but I could do it. Ooh, maybe we shotgun here. One, two, three. Yeah, we could, we could, we could shotgun from there. We could shotgun right here too. Easily, yeah. Uh, the default. I never turn it above the default. 200 is the population cap. Anything above that, the game gets a bit too glacial. If um, the frame rate improvements that we're supposed to get for the next patch are actually as good as they're said to be, then... Then at that point, yeah, absolutely, I will... I will absolutely uh, turn it up after that, but I'll believe it when I see it. They're supposed to bring them water.
Please just reset the job. Please take care of these dwarves. I've made you brand new buckets. Uh, currently, Dwarf Fortress doesn't use your GPU. Like, at all. Gotta remember, this game started development in 2002. Computers were a little different back then. But uh, the next version, the SDL2 stuff, is supposed to add some graphics card usage. What are you legendary in? Competent Axe Dwarf. Your memory recovers slowly. Legendary Tracker. Drill bells, eh? Hmm. Don't have a great aesthetic sensitivity. What an interesting dwarf. I mean, you got to remember that this game had no graphics up until recently, right? As Rander? But no, right now the game's even rendering the graphics on the CPU, which is part of the reason why it runs so badly. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. There's something going on with hospitals again. I don't know if it's just the order I set it up in or what, but I got dwarves that are dying of dehydration, even though... You have a water source. Maybe it strictly wants me to make a water source, but I don't. Shouldn't be the issue. Burrow's not on. I don't know. Like, I've seen the clean patient job go out, so they should be able to do that. Put a few dwarves specifically on orderlies. I've literally made about 40 buckets in the last 20 minutes. Very gourd. Not to seem annoyed with you, I'm not. But thanks for telling me the uh, first thing that I tried. <laughs> Working on it. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, shark jumping walrus. If you die, you die. Is what it is. Um, do I need more tombs for them? Does not seem to be the case. Mm hmm. Well, just just remember, I'm generally the one that teaches people how to play this game, right? <laughs> not, not, not to say that you can't offer tips and advice, but I've already generally, if you're gonna suggest something, I've probably already tried it twice. Which I, I have, and I have been for the last... That's all I've been doing for the last hour, practically. Not quite the last hour, but the last 25 minutes trying to figure out why they're dying of thirst. And I made uh, a 30 buckets, 30 splints, 30 crutches. Um, I completely built a temple, tried turning jobs on and off again. I, uh, you been AFK? Cool. That's all good. It just kind of sucks that I'm losing three dwarves for it, but... I think it comes down to the fact that right now they're, I don't fully get how they change doctors' jobs. It's like, I really I really like the labor changes. I think the labor in this version of the game is significantly better than it was in the last version. Um, so, because, like, I, I, I really like the, 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 the labor changes. I'm also... Not a fan of what they did to the doctor changes. I think the doctor changes are real bad because it just doesn't work sometimes. Uh, supposedly, but they're very much not macroclasm. It's like the one thing that, like, very much not a thing. But supposedly they're they uh, supposedly they're fixed. But I, I've still seen weirdness with buckets. 
and I am playing on the the uh, what would you call it the the beta branch. So theoretically, they should be fixed, but they're definitely not. The game checks for thirst not as regularly as other jobs, so they kind of forget. I think what I really need to do, actually, is this is probably just my fault. Uh, what I need to do is I, I'm just going to go dig a trench, and I'm going to put a, uh, like, water reservoir underneath my hospital. That's what I'm going to do. So that's the next project, I guess. Put a water reservoir beneath the hospital. There goes another one. Holly golly, thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream today? How was dwarves? You wonder if dwarves can drink mist? Well, if they can't, that would very much be a missed opportunity. Uh, no, I don't think they can. Water and mist are two different things. Also, hello, Nariv. Hope you're doing well. We are um, filling this up with lava for uh, nefarious reasons. The puns are real. This is a, a dad joke safe zone. It's an accepted format of humor. Hello, Deep Space. How is things? Also, um, if, if, if you didn't, like, t TLDR with the hot potato stuff, just use the game soundtrack. It's like four hours of listening to the game soundtrack, so. Just got home from work. Well, I hope you had a good day at work. The question is, can you get home from work uh, an hour earlier tomorrow? Because, uh, an hour, well, actually, in 23 hours, Tarn Adams will be on my stream. 23 hours. You won't watch it. It's funny be Dwarf, why are you in here? It's not safe. I guess technically kind of is currently still. This isn't full yet, but it's going to be full soon. <laughs> you might want to not come in here. I think I'm just going to uh, forbid all of these rocks. Um, but, uh, my, most of my stream team have various pungent related commands and like, you know, good fun poking at puns when they're overused. Um, and then the running joke for a while there was that my stream is the pungent. So if you get sent to the pungent, you have to go watch blind. Dwarven caravan has arrived. Must be those, uh, <laughs> must be the raiders, frankly. Eh, not quite. It's just more like a big puddle. I wouldn't quite call that an ocean. All right, well, let's just go here. Move goods to and from. Search by X. Some of these are definitely false positives. Most of them are fine, though. We have a public holiday here on Monday, so no work on May Day. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I mean, that's 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 the day that I get my hot potato segment, so. That'll be fun. You would love a hemp sock. You know, I, I got to wear a hemp shirt once. Or, like, hold hemp fabric once. Um, it's kind of itchy. I don't know if I'd want to wear it as a shirt. That was the sentence I was trying to say the first time.
What do you do for work, Marev? Am I going to do obsidian mining? I mean, there's tons of obsidian everywhere, so I don't exactly have to make it. I could farm obsidian, but it's a bit redundant in a map with so much obsidian everywhere already. Is there a channel that hosts the streams for the DF Hot Potato? No. No, it's going to be on individual people's channels. Just keep an eye on the Dwarf Fortress directory. It'll be in people's titles. We don't have a specific... Because we're not, like, a company, we don't have a specific channel for it. And hosts don't exist anymore. So... There is not a channel that hosts the streams. It's just... It's going to start with one person, and then they're going to raid into the next person, and then they're going to raid into the next person, and then they're going to raid into the next person, and repeat. Uh, diplomacy, your, li your liaison from the Mountain Homes uh, meets with uh, MMO Junkie. Junkie meets with uh, Baron Consort Edom. And they say there's much to share. And we say, yep, yep, yep. And we take all of the wood. Or request all of the wood, I suppose. They want crowns. What an interesting thing. Dwarf withdraws from society. All right. Will they raid us between streams for those of us that may not be able to watch live? Yes. I, I said they will raid into the next channel. But, like, some people disable raids by default. But all you need to do is refresh the directory, and you'll see the next one. Once the um, Tiltify page is... It's been spread around too. You could also just leave the Tiltify up. But it's it's mostly just like we, we, each channel will raid into the next channel, will raid into the next channel, and it's repeat. This stuff looks too cool in ASCII, so I'm just going to look at it in ASCII. Look at that. Thanks, Talon Artho. Also, hello, Q and Green Tea. We, you know, we, we've got the Consortium of Potatoes in this channel, but we also have, like, the Tea Alliance because we've got QN Green Tea and Casual Tea. Oh, sweet. Erish has begun a mysterious construction. Well, this seems to be working quite well. Sleep in, have a late breakfast, and watch Twitch all day. Damn right. Uh, I said QN. <laughs> Definitely said QN. I don't. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Killjoy. Um, but, uh, if you click on the civilizations thing and you mouse over it, up until they arrive, it says what they're, they're requesting. But yeah, generally, I just, I just don't. Casual T is a really good username. Really, 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 really. Your kidding is just bad. Fair enough. Sorry if I'm not enunciating well enough. But yeah, that, that will tell you who is what. I love the fact that we're allied with the Kingdom of Fire, though. That's such a good name. What the heck? Oh, look at these! Monkeys! Yeah, Grey Langers. They're stealing a bunch of breastplates. Guys, they have weapons now. This one got a helmet. This one got a quiver. This one got leggings. Th these are all stuff that the, um, the goblins dropped. Do you think that the goblins have trained Grey Langers to, um bring their weapons back. <laughs> I wonder what kind of artifact this can be. Oh, it's a craft store shop. Okay. Pigtail cloth. Cool, cool, cool. 